Good evening, gamers. My name is Dr. Steve, and I'm very excited to be bringing you a special event proudly presented by X5 Live. This is Community Carnage number seven, a showcase of large battlefield action at its finest. Here's a quick overview of Community Carnage for those of you that haven't experienced it before. We've got two teams, Team Meow, Team Wolf. Each team is made up of 30 players from five of the top clans in Australia and New Zealand. The teams will also have a player in the I Commander mode, I guess. Uh, the player, the match will be played over two maps, Heinen Resort and Parasail Storm. We've got a massive night ahead of us and I won't be doing the loan. We have noms in the camera van covering all of the action for the Twitch TV stream. I've also been joined on the co-caster couch by Unreal and Crazy. G'day Unreal, how are you going tonight, mate? Good, how are you yourself? Oh, going all right. Let's uh, let we get almost ready to get underway. I'm going to get you to run through one of the teams and crazy to run through one of the others. Who have you got covering yep. tonight, Unreal? Well, we have Team Meow, which consists of XL5, Team Immunity, Crux Crew, Silentium, uh, Old Nullify, and VT. It's a pretty strong team. And what about you, Crazy? Who have you got over on Team Wolf? Um, I've got OGA, Avant, Legionnaires, Salad. Sons of Valor and Emphatic. Fantastic stuff. I'll just run through quickly. We do have some prizes going on tonight. So uh, the, we're going to be looking out for who is the uh, most valuable player, MVP for each of the, uh, the rounds. And whoever gets that will get themselves 50 bucks for their efforts. So that's pretty good. We've also got the knife bounties. Knife bounties have been placed on Redding and Mom, Mom Pepe. So we'll be keeping an eye out on those. Whoever's able to get a knife, a repair tool, or a defib on them will also earn themselves 50 bucks in the match. Uh, also, after the fact, we will be running a video competition. So uh, there's a few conditions, and we'll post up some details um, in terms of the stream and, and those sorts of things. It's up on the CG forums for the video competition, but uh, you will need to keep an eye on what's going on the stream so you can uh, get an idea of how to run that video comp. And also for the viewers, as everyone tuned in, we haven't forgotten about you. We've got a uh, some some nice prizes coming out for there. There's a Cooler Master water cooler and also an air cooler. Um, and those will go out. I'll be reading out two questions over the course of the stream. And whoever's able to PM me on the CG forums uh, will be able to... Uh, win those prizes so there's a lot of conditions with those as well i'll post up the details inside the stream for the the, the viewer competition uh, but we're getting ready to get underway i'll cross over to unreal to have a bit of a chat about what he's seeing lining up at the moment yeah well currently they're just uh sitting there cracking it out at the moment waiting to start but um yeah, I'm really excited to see this team, and I'm actually thinking that Meow might actually have the edge with their lineup. Um, with XL5 and IM, that's a pretty strong combo coming in. However, I will actually back Wolf team. Uh, well, I want them to win. However, I don't think they're going to win, um, just because of the old Legionnaires background um, and Avant gaming as well. But it should be a really close game, uh, with I think Meow is probably just going to take it, just with the IM and X5 super group. <laughs> Fun stuff. And what about you, Crazy? What are your options for the night? Um, I'm actually back in uh, Wolf here. I think they're pretty strong in uh, the imp, so I'm going to go with them. Solid stuff. I do also want to give a big shout out to the sponsors for XL5 and X5 Live. That is Cooler Master, CM Storm and NVIDIA. Um, they, they're the ones being the effort behind this, allowing us to uh, give, give uh, put on an effort like this tonight, um, and we couldn't do it without them. So shout out to those guys. We've just had a bit of a restart. So might cross over to Crazy for an overview on Heinen Resort, which is our first map that we're playing tonight. What do you think we'll see from this, especially in the big format? We've got one jet being run by the teams. Um, so we're playing on the 64th player size. What are we going to see from Heinen? Well, I've actually played it with a uh, jet before, but there's going to be a huge uh, huge Zerg on B, surely. And uh, there's See. going to be a lot of lot of action on their home flags, I suppose. It, it just depends what the uh, commanders choose to do. It, it could, anything could happen, really. And in terms yeah, looking... of the command... Yeah, go for it, mate. Sorry, yeah, just look, looking forward to a massive shit fight off rollout on C, hoping that the jets maybe actually get onto there and um, can, yeah, get some bails happening and capture that flag really quickly because this can be really pivotal in this game. 
Yeah, we do have the, the five flags, so it is a little bit uneven, which means that we'll have one of the teams always fighting for the uh, three flag cap. Um, we may see a lot of battling going in around that sea point uh, and with all of the, the action, we do have the boats, we do have the jets going around. It's going to keep things very cool between the teams fighting it out. Um, so in terms of the players, are there any individuals who, who have we got the jets, do you reckon? Uh, are they going to make an impact? Um, jets, I don't actually think are that going to be that high impact. Um, they can strafe everything, but I think it's actually going to be more of a ground game since just the amount of stingers and stuff you can put up. It's actually going to be quite difficult for air, so I'm quite excited just to see the inf work on B, and it seems like it's already started with a massive shit fight at, um, at C flag. And it's actually hard to see who's coming out on top at the moment. There is a lot of action in and around C. We've got Thrask, he's up the roof at the moment. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, a couple of guys coming, uh, spawning off him at the moment. So it's uh, the guys from Immunity, Reading and uh, Thrask up on top of that building. Uh, they're actually taking pot shots at the, uh, the chop at the moment. A couple of kills coming over the screen, but nothing of note at this stage. Um, can you confirm that we are live at the moment though, mate? Yeah, we are live. Yeah, uh, they called live just a bit ago. And yeah, so currently um, the Wolf is pulling C, except it looks like Meow has gone across and captured one of the back flags at B. And they're trying to hold it with a few of the X5 boys in the building off uh, B flag, just trying to hold it, but they're getting pressured really heavily. Um, but it's hard to see who's going to come out. No, that's okay, mate. We'll uh, just call what you can and uh, we'll have a look over back on the B point where there seems to be a lot of action. Wolf is coming under attack by Meow. Uh, lots of kills coming through there at the moment as uh, they're getting... <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of stuff. Hard to call what's going on there. Meow Clowns is in the building. He's uh, just having a quick look at the, uh, the top there. He's pulling pistol. He's pulling rocket. He's having a bit of a shot around there as well. Romal is in there as well, having a look around, uh, getting a few shots off on a few guys, and he's just gone down to LG Quicks with the AEK971. Um, so C has been contested and successfully contested by the guys from Meow. What are you able to see from your side there, Unreal? Uh, yeah, well, I think that the wolf guys are on the roof, which means they're going to be able to jump down and quickly reclaim C if it is any point lost. And I think at the moment it is just going back towards the Meow side, unless I can't read the map wrong. Um, but they do have a chance that this is going to be in contestant for a while because wolf do have the roof, and that is a very big part of um, holding this flag here. Yeah, good stuff. A looks like it's under attack. The guys are on the Meow team at the moment. They are moving in there. We've got a couple of them at the moment. Uh, it's the X5 squad by the looks of it. Serum, uh, Reeds, Deluxe and Dutchie all in there at the moment. So response is uh, coming on thick and fast as Predict and... Oh, I'm a dog wolf is coming in there. So some fun <laughs> names from a couple of these guys on the other uh, wolf side, really getting their inner dog going as uh, they come in and respond to the X5 attack that's coming on there. So Deluxe getting a nice ace 52 kill on Predict. Might have a quick look at this scorecard because it really looks like the guys from Meow are running away with this at the moment. Uh, they have 240 ticket lead over 200, uh, sorry, 440 tickets to the guys from Team Wolf. So Meow leading the way at this stage there, Unreal. Yeah, and Phenom just took out the enemy boat. So now he's the only boat it seems on the map, which is pretty huge. And we all know Phenom for being a really big boat for. Um, so hopefully they might be able to lock down a bit of a huge amount of the water side um, on Team Meow and maybe actually seal this out. And it seems like Meow are actually dominating the flags at this point. So we're going to have to see something massive come back from Wolf. And it seems like they're putting all of their efforts onto C, jumping down from the roof and trying to get this C flag back. I have not seen this many people in my life on one flag. Then we've got one, two, three. We've got about 10 people from Wolf. They've just absolutely stacks on on this flag. Everyone is moving their way in there. I'm going to try and call a couple of the guys in there at the moment. Weapon X is having a look around. LG Quick is in there as well. Um, we've got uh, Tetra, the APC, responding. Actually, I think he's the AA truck, but he's uh, moving his way in there. Glip is outside having a look around. Mon Pepe is outside the uh, the courtyard there having a look in. He's running around with a pistol, having a bit of a squeeze. Rudy Costri is there as well, and he's up on top of uh, uh, the mezzanine roof, I guess, having, having a look around. A few kills coming in thick and fast as uh, Amaral gets uh, L85A2 on uh, I'm a Dog, and uh, Tetra getting a nice kill on 
on the duchy man so still lots of stuff happening the uh the guys from wolf haven't managed to uh to cap up that uh, c flag which is yeah. surprising they have managed to hold a though what are you able to see on wolf? um well currently i think it's difficult to tell from the uh coloration of all the players um, but Meow seem to be holding the bottom floor still, which is pretty much where the flag is, but it's just really hard to get rid of Wolf from the flag, as they do still have the upper, and I think I still see it. Yeah, there's a spawn beacon from Wolf on the top of the roof, so it doesn't look like they're going away anytime soon. So luckily, as I thought it would be, this map is just a massive shit fight for C, um, and it looks like it's going to be like this for quite some time. Um, barely actually seeing much impact of the vehicles at all so far, actually, on this map. And there's not yeah, much rotations. No, no, I think it's a little bit sluggish at this point. I'm not too crazy for a bit of expert commentary, mate. What have you seen so far? Well, there's a whole lot happening here. It just seems to be that, uh... Oh, hang on, look what it is. Ooh, Wolf are going for D-Flag. They've actually um, got their boat off on um, to D-Flag, so they're capturing that up, and they've bailed a few people away from C. Unfortunately, their big boat goes down, but they still do have a few people at D, so it looks like they're going to cap up the D-Flag. Um, except Phenom's here, so we might see a few kills come out of Phenom onto the D-People at the D-Flag, um, as he drops some people off to swim there, and he's going to try to pick up a few and maybe reclaim D. I think D looks like it's going to be a nice boiling pot for the moment as the guys st start to move in there um, as Monpepe takes down uh, MPH and a lot of kills coming thick and fast on that D flag. So great work from the guys from Wolf to cap that one up and it looks like they uh, uh, they may have been taken out. We do have uh, the Crux guys in there at the moment, Romal, uh, MPH, uh, Electric NZ, Clowns and also uh, Gravy Bro in there and they're capping that one up now. So great stuff from Meow retaking that D flag as uh, there's all of these UAVs up there making my screen all nice and scrambly, making it hard for, for yeah. us to do. Use a spectate mode. I didn't realize that was gonna happen tonight, but uh, it's good to see that the guys are now uh, making the push onto C, that's where we're at. And uh, it looks like the guys from Meow are getting a couple of people in there and re-securing that flag. Wolf did cap it up for a moment, but uh, they are losing it now. Score card is heavily in favor of Meow at the moment. 472 reads, 186 in favor of Meow. Massive stuff there, Unreal. Yeah, it's a massive slaughter that's happening. I can't see who's at B, but it looks like Wolf are going to cap up B, so they'll have B and A, which is kind of a good starting point for them to go from, but it looks like C is kind of almost a lost cause at this point, and they've lost so many tickets trying to throw men on. I think their best bet at this point is maybe to get a chopper bailout onto one of the back flags, maybe uh, E, and just try to work from there and maybe go to D. But uh, what they're doing at the moment really, unfortunately, isn't working. No, no, it isn't, and uh, I'm not really sure what land is for those guys. Um, I think they may need to, to just stem the bleed as much as possible at this stage um, and give it another shot in the next round because this ticket margin is massive in favour of the guys from Meow. Yeah, just having a quick look through the scoreboards, Redding is leading the way for uh, Team Meow. He's got 12 kills, 8 deaths to him, man. Phenom's doing a massive job in that boat, pouring yeah, it up, 14 and 0, um, and having a look over on the wolf side. We've got uh, Savage Lol uh, on 14 kills, 11 deaths, Uncle Rory on 12 and 6. So great stuff from both teams at the moment as we are seeing the E push that you did predict yeah. earlier there, Unreal. Having a look over, we've got uh, a couple of the guys over there. It looks like to be the uh, SOV squad uh, making the push in. We've also got Avant coming in, uh, Edge and Rude Costry and also Tetra making the way on foot. They have grade that. They are securing that. That is all theirs. Response is now coming in from the Meow team. They're getting their people in place. UAV's just gone up over the top of E, so lots of kills coming there. Harry Eagle taking down Go-Go Waffles um, and a couple of other things happening in and around that place at the moment. Um, but it looks like the guys have managed to get themselves off the bleed. Um, Wolf are in with a bit of a chance as scorecard reads 435 to 90 tickets, Unreal. Yeah, I think it might be unfortunately a bit a little too late and I think E's actually getting on. Oh, no, E's not getting reclaimed, but Venom comes into the action now. I'm hoping to see, yeah, he's got a few kills. He picked up Tetra and he's absolutely nailing that flag, trying to wipe everyone away. And it seems like he's wiped a lot of people and E-Flag is uh, getting captured back up by them. So just a nice rotation um, from Meow to seal it back up and maybe get, uh, I think, yeah, they're gonna get the three flags back on. 
Um, but now that sees a big push coming from him from Wolf, and Wolf's actually being wiped from the roof of C, it seems. So, except they're on the ground, and they are actually capping up the flag, and I'm going to try find... Um, there's a few players in there, following Mad Dog at the moment there. Yeah, Wolf are going to try to get up on the roofs and try to seal their place on, on this uh, C flag yet again, and just try to maybe hold three as many as, as long as they can, and maybe um, push out as many tickets as possible at the moment. That's it, we do have the uh, the advanced squad heading in on that C point. So it was them that were really doing the work to get that C flag capped up. So three flags in favour of the Wolf squad as they try and stem the bleed. 391, red 62 uh, in favour of Meow at the moment. So Wolf have got themselves a three flag bleed and they're doing their best to hold on to that. Get themselves back some tickets as C looks to be the melting pot as uh, we've got lots of people. The st uh, I'm looking up at the roof at the moment. Lots of fighting ha happening up on top of the roof and underneath as these guys start to stray, stream in. Uh, following on, on with GoGo -Go Waffles as he's uh, coming through the plaza, having a look around, getting some shots up on top. Looks like he did manage to... No, I don't have anything on the stream there, but uh, whoever was shooting him with him has stopped for the moment, and it looks like he's just gone down. So uh, heaps of stuff happening in around the sea flag, and it looks like that seems to be the only place where major action is happening at this point, Unreal. Yeah, Solid Voices is taking out a few of the people on the roof. Um, he's on the Wolf team, so he's taking about a few male people on the roof who currently hold the roof um and we saw shady before he was really doing a good job of raising them up so it looks like now have wiped the roof but they're getting a lot of pressure from this chopper and there's a bit of a chopper fight going on and it looks like um what's his name salad voices is actually going to push in and maybe finish this chopper off except no the guy hides behind the thing and it gets um the rockets get hit into the wall so it looks like he's actually in fact going to go down oh no he's still up somehow um because battlefield and uh, he's actually escaping, so both choppers are up, and yeah, it's uh, yeah, just a bit of an air battle going on. Oh, nice big coming from the jet there, Gal Gandalf taking down Emphasaurus and Jeevas there. So great work using that uh, that jet to full effect and uh, taking down that boat. As uh, that was probably the, the only time I've seen the jet have a real big impact on the other uh, game. As, yeah, and uh, the... uh, Frank Drebin also just took down the enemy chopper as well. So now they're chopperless, um, so they're going to have control of the skies on the uh, wolf team, I think. I don't oh, know no, if that's the controversy, because yeah. I, was, I was told there was only to be one jet as we've just rounded out the first round. 316 <laughs> is the margin to oh, Team slaughter. Meow. Did you want to run through the scoreboards a little bit and have a look through those? I would when it actually comes up. Okay, well, topping it off for actually Meow will go across to, um, we have Redding, and then followed by Groovy Bro or Gravy Bro. He's gone 10 for 1, but Redding easy on uh, 20 for 10. Um, then Admiral, then Phenom, whoring up, no deaths, 18-0. Gandalf 11-2 uh, and Electric NZ 15-3. Dagwood had a really good game, 16-0. Um, trying to find any standouts. Um, Cell, Cell did really well, 13-4. 14-4 um, on Serum, so he's actually done okay for once. Um, We've only got yeah, limited time, time, so I'll have a run through the Wolf side. Yeah. We've got Tetra leading the way there, 12 kills and 10 deaths. Uh, Savage Lol doing a good job, 18 kills for that man. Uncle Rory doing well for himself, as is Valtix. Um, I'm a dog wolf, 19 kills for that man, and Rude Costry with 12 and 10, as we're having a bit of a restart. Not sure if uh, we um, going are going live yeah. straight away, but we'll have a quick look. Um, Cross to Crazy for a bit of overview on what he thought the first round meant for him. Well, it seems like uh, Fen just dominated in the boat, and uh, they need to fix that. And uh, pretty much... Yeah. What's happening here? And Wolf just need to, I think, just need to be a bit more mobile from what I saw. It, it was hard to pick up on the stream, but um, yeah. No, that's nice. And we do have the call over that the EMP UAV has now been banned, so we won't have that blurry stuff coming over the monitor for all of the viewers. Apologies is for that. We might take opportunity to run through the first question uh, for our viewers competition. So in terms of this viewers competition, if you jump on the C CG forums and have a look, I'll post up a link in the chat feed in a second. Uh, but in terms of the question, if you PM me the answer, uh, to both of the questions, there's one now and one a little bit later. Um, you have the opportunity to win yourself a Cooler Master air cooler or water cooler. Um, so PM those details through once I finish up with the second question, which will come later in the cast. First question for the night, 
what is the track and artist used in the X5 Live reveal video? So the reveal video, when we unveiled X5 Live, what is the track and artist used for that promo video? You'll need to jump to onto our YouTube page uh, to have a look at that. So uh, check that out and uh, save that answer. And then uh, when you get the second question, have a look at that and PM me the details. I'll post up the links in a second as we're getting ready. I don't know if we're live just yet, um, but I'll cross the one reel to have a chat. Um, yeah, well, um, I, I agree with Crazy a lot on what he was saying with what they need to do for the second round. They put way too much emphasis on C instead of just going for the other flags. And you saw how easy it was to get one of their back flags if they actually did a nice boat flank. Um, but we might be going live now. So I'd like to see a lot more movement. Still, we're going to probably see a massive shit fight for C as usual. Um, but hopefully the back flags will have a bit more emphasis this round. I hope so too. Crazy, what do you think? Um, I think they're going to just uh, change their strategy totally because um, what they did in the first round just did not work. So I think this is going to be a big zerg on their front flags um, for, uh, what is it, Team uh, team Wolf. I think this is going to go straight out um, just assault on their um, opposition's front flags, just smash it. Oh, it's yeah, not live stuff. again. Not so live it's going to be again. a bit more. <laughs> uh, but uh, what were the highlights for you so far, Unreal? Um, to be honest, it was Venom, because I always like watching Venom's boat play, because it's really whorish, it's really dirty, he hides a lot and gets the easy kills. But there was a nice boat fight down the bottom, which I thought was really good, um, and Venom got a triple kill, um, so that was nice. The initial rollout was really good as well, um, from Meow as well to get on the flag, so I liked how quickly they got in there and bailed their jet, I think they did, to get there so quickly. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's hard to tra keep track of all the infaction and everything, so that's what I noticed the most. Yeah, what were great your favourite stuff. bits, Dr. Steve? I thought that there was some good infantry coming in from uh, the, the advanced squad. Those guys were on the foot uh, most of the way, so they were slogging it out to try and get themselves back on the map. So when they did make the push over with uh, the SOV guys onto E and re-secured that one up, it took the pressure off them on the C and A points. Um, and then again, when Avant, uh, the Avant guys made the push into the C flag, they were able to uh, really get themselves in a position to, to bleed off a couple of tickets and only ended up at about 316 um, when they were looking closer to 440 um, margin at the start of the match. So, uh, yeah, good work from those guys on the Wolf team, but uh, they really need to step it up. 316 is a massive margin, yeah. um, and we need to see them do better things in this second round, mate. Yeah, I'm, well, I really want this to be off rollout. I'm hoping they go the jet straight to the back flag, get tons of engines to absolutely spawn bomb um, really hard on their back flag and just chuck tons of mines out and try to limit the vehicles that come out of the enemy spawn. I mean, I think that was really a uh, good idea if they could manage to do that and pull it off because then they could get a decent lead and you can always come back for your ladder flags, but it's nice to get those uh, initial ones out there. Yeah, good stuff. Still haven't gone live in this second round, but uh, again, a shout out to uh, the sponsors for X5 Live and uh, XL5, Cooler Master, CM Storm, NVIDIA. Um, put, again, putting their effort behind these events, making them happen, and uh, also giving our viewers something interesting to uh, to look into. So jump on that, uh, that uh, our YouTube stream and have a look at what is the track and artist used for the X5 Live reveal video. Um, Unreal, what, do you, what have you got in, in mind for this second round? What would you be doing? I know you were saying in terms of getting that drop over back and uh, getting the mines down. Uh, how would you utilise the, uh, the vehicles in terms of the boat? I know Phoenix did a good job. Um, well, for me, I'm not much of a vehicle person, uh, but I would probably just use them for bailing for the most part because their effectiveness is kind of limited in a lot of ways just because the infantry have such good um, anti-vehicle weapons in this game. It's kind of kind of ridiculous, um, but it kind of neuters, uh, it kind of neuters the effective range of vehicles, how close they can get to flags and generally what kind of pressure can be applied. So I'd like if they actually kind of basically ditched a lot of the vehicles, just manned up and just got those energy kits out and just went to town on everyone. Um, and that's what I'd be doing. Um, and yeah, just getting the slams, chucking all the slams in the water to kill Phenom so he can't, you know, be a complete Jew the whole time. And yeah, I think that'd be a really good one.
So we're, we're just going to fill the ocean with slams and the world will be a better place. <laughs> Basically, I think it's a real... I love filling the ocean with slams. Every time I played any scrim, the first point of call was to find the nearest bit of water and I just chucked slams in it. I didn't care if there was a vehicle. I would just throw slams in there. And then at some point, uh, it would just make me really happy to know that there are slams in the water. So as long as there's slams in the water, I'm just going to be a happy boy. So true true or false, that. do crazy go to the beach today and just put slams in the water? <laughs> I hope so. Crazy, can you confirm? Confirmed. <laughs> Excellent. Sipping on a pina colada. Good stuff. I think the guys are still trying to work out some issues with the uh, the commanders at the moment. Yeah, there's only uh, one iPad commander. On, uh, the I'm iPad on there. the dunny is, is not working for <laughs> one of the teams at the moment, so we're hoping we can get that resolved. We might actually, I might cross, uh, have a chat to uh, Noms and see if he can queue up some music so we can have another bevy and get back into the action with the second oh, wait, round wait, in a wait. moment. Oh, live on restart oh, in a got? moment. Oh, nice. Oh, in a, it's in looking a good. Moment. That's good. Yeah, That's but good. a we moment do. could be pretty far away. But I'm, I was it? actually, I'm actually kind of semi hoping that Cow and is it um, Lightning? I'm actually cross fingers that they are actually on the toilet because someone actually has to use this feature, and I don't think anyone's even used it. And it's just, it's just such a game changing thing, you know? It's so amazing that um, it's just an unfortunate if no one plays Battlefield while taking the shit. So I think, yeah. It, it, it is a revol revolutionary piece of technology yeah. there, and uh, yes, we hope someone is using it to its full extent, as uh, the guys are still mucking around, having a bit of a time. I am going to ask Nom to pick and put some music on so we can grab a drink, and uh, we'll get back to you in a moment with the second half of this first map. Hey, and welcome back. It is Dr. Steve here from X5 Live, bringing you the second round of the first map for Community Carnage number seven. I've been joined by Unreal and Crazy, and we're just about to get underway. Rollout has just gone live. So Team Wolf on the China side, streaming out from the north. Meow is on US, coming out from the south of the screen. So we will see these guys start to move into their respect points at the moment. Go Go Waffles is making the push. He's uh, paraphrasing shoot dropped onto C, leading the push for Team Meow, getting himself inside the hotel, having a look around now, getting himself in a good position to put the defensive shots on across that ball. He's going to be met by a squad leader of LG Quick um, and his guys making them away onto the point. Also, Savage Law from OGA making the push in from outside. So lots of stuff happening as it looks like Meow have got the early cap up on C point there, Unreal. Yeah, I'm just following him and seeing what he's doing. It looks like he's watching the outside and just basically controlling the, um, the ground floor as would it be of C. I'm trying to see if he picks up any action, but there's a lot of kills going on with um, people trading. Maverick picks up two, Venom and Deluxe, so I think that means that Venom's down. And yes, it does. And it actually looks like Wolf are getting a back flag cap on A, which is exactly what I hoped for. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that's going to go okay for them. 
Yes, so it's Edge over there at the moment from so Avanti. I was for a bit. That one. Yeah, you were a bit, but that's okay. Yeah. Where it sounds like you're getting back into the action now as um, Eden is making the push across that north road, having a look at Trigger Happy. They're exchanging shots at this stage. Also, uh, Juice is there from NFY, uh, getting a couple of shots over there. They're in defence of the B flag and uh, just fighting along that road there. They're defending their APC, which is uh, being manned by uh, another one of the NF guys. Guy, NFY guys at the moment, so we'll see what's able to, uh, what they're able to do as they push out from the B point. Um, but we'll go back over and have a look at what's happening on C. And that one C looks to be heavily uh, held by the guys from Meow. They've got about ten guys that are now starting to make the uh, their way outside um, and having a look at uh, a few guys from Wolf making the way. It's the uh, the squad of oh massive. Uh, kills coming over as the event squad goes down. Baltics is down edge. Um, I'm a dog. Rue Costry all going down there. So not great stuff from the, the event boys. Uh, they were trying to get themselves back into the C point, but have all gone down. Scorecard at the moment is in favour of Meow again. They've got the early lead. 771 reads, 750 points. Real. Yeah, I'm just following Gogo -Go there. It's a bit of fight outside the, um, the I think it's the Chinese side of C. Just following Gogo -Go is he's trying to head them off, and he's picked up a few already. Um, and Redding gets, um, oh crap, <laughs> Redding gets two, both Amp players. And it seems like they're actually pushing them off quite well. Yeah, they've pushed them off, so now they're stuck on the Chinese side, and the US have good control of the map. So it's going to be very difficult for them to come in. I still suggest, oh yeah, there's a back flag. As we see, Uncle Rory is getting their um, back cap at A. So he's doing a really good job to get on there. Um, except he's coming under heavy fire from whoever's in the AA, that's Hamlet. And we can see if he hopefully will stay up and doesn't get picked off, um, he can maybe get neutralised. Yeah, he's done well to get himself into that position there, but he's got the X5 squad coming yeah. in and now we've got Re it's uh we've got deluxe and we've also got Dutchy although his uncle we've just been joined by his friend Mom Peppy um and Ooh, they die. Gen no they've gone down so it looks like those age OGA boys they managed to grey up the A point but uh X5 too strong as uh reads uh down both Fluff and Mon Peppy there uh great stuff from them securing up that point for the Meow squad uh, Wolf really need to get themselves back off the bleed because it looks like E's under contention as yeah. well. We do have a couple of guys in there at the moment from NFY. Those boys have made the push from B over to E and uh, doing a good job at the uh, the moment to try and keep that under a bit of pressure for the Meow team. But it looks like we've got everyone coming down on top of the hills. The Wolf boys are making their way in there. They're taking down the APC. They're taking a couple of shots on, on there at the moment. Juice taking down OGA Weapon uh, quick got a uh, I'm not sure yeah, where that was C4 quick triple C4 kill. massive stuff <laughs> from the quick man uh, he took himself down in that action though uh, but Admiral and Dutch went down with the C4 kill there unreal yeah so we're just seeing a bit of contestion around the E flag still and trying to find some players here um, so we're getting a lot of s'mores on the buildings trying to explode them just following Murdoch and seeing if he can make anything here, but I feel like he's just going to get exploded with everything else as E is really, really heavily surrounded by Meow. Oh, sorry, by Mo Wolf, actually. I don't think that Meow are going to have much luck and it's just going to get seen off. However, there's a big push coming out onto D flag from um, the IM from Meow. And as we see, Redding is coming up over the hill and he's trying to pick some of them off. But there's tons of explosions he has to back out, unfortunately. Um, but D's actually yeah. getting capped. The they are making. The, <laughs> there are still a couple of guys around, and it looks like it's the other uh, Crux boys in there at the uh, the moment that might be uh, making the uh, the difference for Meow getting in there and uh, getting a little bit of, of cap on it. Romal's there. He's got MPH there. He's also got. Uh, there's a lot of guys from Meow now making that push into the pointer. Um, whilst yeah, this is just a boiling point. Everything's happening. We've got heaps of guys. The OGA squad has just spawned in as well. Uh, they're supporting by SOV Harry Eagle in the APC at the moment laying the fire down getting a couple of shots over as uh, yeah lots of stuff happening there Deluxe getting a 852 kill on Mon Pepe uh, Gandalf with the stinger on Maverick so one of the jets going down there by the looks of it and uh, D point seems to be uh, now back in the hands of Meow Unreal yeah it's pretty unfortunate like you can actually see there's three oh, I'm just gonna have to get rid of that blur we have a uh, three actual like fighting points between um b and e on that road as well as in front of c and d and i think we actually if is 
I think they actually managed to take down Venom. I didn't notice it, but that means oh, no, they in fact got taken down themselves um, off the corner of D, so they can't really do anything there. But it's really difficult to know what uh, Wolf can actually do from this position because you can see on the map they're so spread out on Meow that it's very difficult to make any kind of play from them. Um, so they're just getting pinned in, unfortunately, and I don't actually know what they can do apart from possibly getting a drop onto their back flags with a jet is the only way out I can actually see for them at the moment. Yeah, jets or boats may be the only option that they need to make it and they need to try and do it undetected. Um, and the commanders are doing a good job chucking up those UAVs, making sure they're able to have a look around, see what's going on. Uh, the D point seems to be where the action's still going on at the moment, but Wolf getting cleaned off there pretty quickly um, on board with, uh, well, was on board with Weapon X, but that man went down like a sack of potatoes. That was quick stuff. And E is under contention at the moment as a couple of the guys death uh, making the push in with sad act either support uh rukov three and death dog looks like they just traded there unfortunately as uh we do have a couple of the guys now starting <laughs> to put the defenses on what'd you see mate venoms is going across and you can see about 10 15 infantry just running across the water in front of him he tries to not run them over but everyone's lining up on the e flag and i'm really hoping venom gets some nice splash here and can take him out yeah he's taking out a few now so we're going to see Phenom and all the vehicles are really going to come into play here because they really don't have anything on side of Wolf and they're all pinned up against the wall. So I'm excited. Oh, actually, they're getting a back cap on A, but I don't know how well this is going to go. It looks like they just got wiped, unfortunately. Yeah, we've got Quick in there at the moment for the Wolf boys in yeah, on A. He's, uh, he's there by himself. Though he's got some guys spawning. He's got Vex yeah. on him. And he's also got Horizon spawning in. Um, Cell is there in the yeah, chopper for and Meow Phenom's in defense. And Phenom the there in the boat. Very cool, difficult, mate. very difficult for them to actually do anything, but it seems like the chopper and boats, the chopper's probably coming back, but the boat doesn't look like it will, so they're probably just going to give away a... I don't know if they're going to have to rotate back for this or not, but they might just um, maybe think, oh wait, the chopper actually takes out a few, and oh, yeah, the infantry's coming in now, and we have jets even coming across the top, and they have a UAV over ace, they know exactly where they are, so they might try to just leave this and just have the UAV there and just contain whenever they go to a different flag and pick them off. Yeah, yeah, heaps of stuff still happening at the moment. Yeah, Phenom's just gone down by the looks of it. And uh, we've got the Commander UAV going up uh, again, which is pretty annoying. But uh, we are having a look at the uh, the X5 guys making their way up the hill from E. They're, they're starting to push the poor team of Wolf back into the hills at the moment. Wolf card reads 710 to 318 at the moment in favour of the Meow guys. So they're really running away with this second round. And it looks like with the bleed at this stage, only one flag to the guys from Wolf. They're going to have a hard time kicking back. You want to run through the scoreboard and have a look at uh, who's doing the best work there at the moment, Unreal? Yeah, it's Murdoch. He's actually doing so much work. I'm pretty sure he's in the APC somewhere. When I last checked, I think he's the APC driver. Um, yeah, he is. He's sitting off the top of E, so he's probably picking up tons of kills coming out of spawn. Um, and he's destroying up there. Unfortunately, my ult is um, what I'm binding to my talk. So when I ult tab, I'm actually getting out of the game. But I'll see if I can do this. Um, NPH is also up top, 19-4. Sadax, 18-3. Uh, and Redding, 14-4. And the top few actually have really, really nice KDs. On the side of Wolf, there's, they're all um, below one, unfortunately. So it just looks like they're getting outfragged heavily. Yeah, lots of stuff still happening from, from the guys. And yeah, heaps of kills coming on despite the score lines. So uh, the, the push I'm having a look on at the moment is on the, uh, the C point at this stage. We do have a couple of the guys that are starting to make their way. It looks like uh, the Meow squad of, uh, of Redding is starting to push in there. Redding, we've got uh, Shaddy and Zed Dog, um, also uh, the Murdoch man in the APC. So lots of these Meow boys now starting to make their way up to the C flag to see if they can get them up. Uh, Salad is inside time, having a look at uh, the, the uh, the outside, seeing if he can cop any of the guys making their way in. Nice work from Salad, takes down X5 Reeds. Um, also got Fresh taking down M Source, and looks like Phenom took down uh, Sean's Maggot as well. Um, so that boat must be doing some action around the side there. Uh, but it looks like good push from the, uh, the Meow guys. They are capping up this seat point. They are doing a good job getting themselves in and around that flag, getting there and uh, now cleaning out as it looks like Redding has gone down um, and it was quick to manage to take them down with the ACW there, mate. 
Yeah, I'm just following on quick at the moment, seeing if he actually can defend this decently, and he's just hiding this little niche on the flag, um, trying to trying to keep the hoops alive, I guess, for as long as possible. Um, but I'll see if I can cap on someone. Scary's coming in from the out, so they're trying to make the... Oh, they've already made the recap, but there's still a few wolf guys, so hopefully we'll be able to get it back. And they're just actually just sitting in one spot, not trying to get out too much, but unfortunately... Um, Quick gets taken down, and it looks like their hopes on the flag are actually diminishing a little bit, but they're still up and trying to rotate around the flag as much as possible to be as elusive as possible, so they don't all get taken down in one position. Ooh. User was new to your channel. And having a quick look over the C point is where we're back at at the moment. Lots of kills coming in there at the moment. Savage Lol taking down Phenom, uh, Quick taking down Murdoch, and a uh, few other kills getting traded in between. It is a good push from the guys from Meow. They have got themselves to cap at this stage. Uh, we'll see whether they're able to hold that as uh, Wolf are making the push in. Avant Squad is there. Tetra, I'm a dog, Wolf. Uh, Edge and also Valzo in there at the moment having a look around. Uh, Rukostri is up on the roof at the moment having a look in the uh, the lift so uh, keeping an eye out to yeah. see if anyone is going to uh, to pop up and give him a bit of a uh, bit of pressure but he seems to be okay at this stage. Uh, so those guys are just setting themselves up from uh, Team Wolf, uh, the advanced squad, getting themselves in a position where when they want to drop down onto that sea flag they've got the chance. Um, Edge has just gone down it looks like it was a uh, in the, uh, the little bird just getting himself in a good position to put some fire down. Sea flag is the push at the moment. We've got a couple of the guys from Team Wolf on the flag now getting themselves there. Great, great stuff. Here we go. The <laughs> defensive squad is now moving in from uh, Meow. Uh, Death Dog is there. Admiral is there. Uh, a couple of the other guys getting some kills made. Are you able to see what's happening in and around that sea Yeah, point? I'm trying to follow it as much as possible. Um, I was following the chopper before and apparently actually, yeah, the Chinese side are getting forced off so Wolf are doing a really good job because whilst this fight's been happening, they have actually taken D and they had B for a while which has been forced off. So currently they're sitting on two apiece and um, two flags are in contestion as well. Um, but Wolf are doing a really good job. They got on the roof just before, so they have a really good positional advantage on this flag. I'm not sure if they're still on the roof, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it seems like the uh, US are gonna get it back. I think that's the, yeah, the Meow are gonna get uh, D back. So it's gonna be really uphill, but it looks like they've just traded flags and traded sides. So um, yeah, Wolf and things have swapped sides. They have the other's flags. So it's actually a very interesting position for them to be in. Yeah, there's been good movement from uh, from the guys from Team Wolf in this uh, this second half of the second map, but they are really on the back foot. The scorecard reads 67 tickets to 600, so that's a massive deficit they're looking at at the moment, and I think they are still losing flags, as it looks like uh, uh, the D flag is going to the way of uh, the, um, the guys there from Meow. Yeah, they're getting themselves in a position to fight back on that. Um, we've got a whole lot of guys from Wolf. Actually, Wolf have got most of their guys in and around the C point at the moment. There's coming a lot of pressure um, in and around there as uh, the, the guys from Meow are starting to put the push on. Uh, looks like uh, Cell's chopper is under a bit of fire and he's just having a look around, seeing what he's able to do. I'm surprised he's been able to stay up and that close to all of the people. Most yeah. people must be rocking the assault kits at the moment and not worrying too much about the uh, uh, the vehicles User getting around. Um, so, yeah, a few things still happening um, as we're looking at the sea point pretty much cleaned out at the moment uh, the guys from wolf retaining that one retaining a little bit of pride but they don't have that much tickets on their on their side at the moment mate yeah and we see Phenom just got up in the boat so we can see what he can do here and I think he's gonna go around yeah it looks like he's gonna go around maybe towards seaside I'm sorry east side um, but yeah he's sitting yeah he's just sitting around there so there's two flags and it looks like that, yeah, um, Wolf have got three flags back, so they're doing a really good job at the moment and it looks like, I think his, his boat's almost going down, um, but there's just a big shitstorm over sea and it's actually really hard to detect anything at the moment. I can't see any, uh, if there's any choppers still up, it looks like everything's gone down, so it's just infantry at the moment with one jet hovering over the top, trying to clean off what it can, and that's actually the end of the game. 
545 to nil, so that was actually a lot bigger um, win than the other because they got the massive five flag lead for about five to ten minutes. So it's actually no big surprise there, but um, Wolf did a good job to get it back at the end. They did have a nice um, caps at some point and did hold it decently, but the beginning and um, initiation from Meow was just far too good. Yeah, it was. And just having a quick look at the scoreboard before they reset it on us, Murdoch doing the other uh, work for Meow. He's got uh, 29 kills, 4 deaths. Sadak doing a good job as well, 23 and 5. Uh, Romau, shout out to him with 15 and 9. And Death Dog coming in at number 4 with 23, 13. Over on the Wolf side, mate. Uh, yeah, SVG LOL leading 25 for 14, actually doing a really good job. 12-11 um, on um, Source. Tetra going 7-11 and... Valtix 21 to 20 and apart from that they're all kind of unfortunately below 1 KD so they have actually gotten quite stomped in that game and now we're going on to Parcel Storm I think it is yeah, Paracel Storm is what we've got up next, so we'll cut away for a break, and uh, when we get back to you, we'll be up with the action of the second round. Uh, we saw Team Meow take out the uh, the first map. Uh, it was almost a 1,000 tickets uh, is the margin, so uh, big stuff from them. We'll see whether Wolf is able to step up and do better after the break. Stay tuned to X5 Live. <laughs> playing your favorite game and you just had one of those great gaming moments and want to share it with your friends. Well now you can with Shadowplay. It's a new feature in GeForce Experience that makes it super easy to capture and record in-game video. It runs in the background so you never miss those moments. And because it's hardware accelerated, game performance stays great. To enable Shadowplay, open GeForce Experience and click on the Shadowplay button. Flip on the switch and you're ready to go. When Shadowplay is running, you'll see this icon displayed in the corner of the screen. In Shadow Mode, when something cool happens in the game, capture it by hitting Alt F10. Shadow Play will capture up to the last 20 minutes of your gameplay. In addition to Shadow Mode, you can use Manual Mode to start and stop recording at any length. Use Alt F9 to start and stop the recording. All your videos will be saved in a high quality H.264 format, so you can upload them to YouTube and share them with your friends. Once you enable Shadow Play, you'll never miss your greatest gaming moments. had one of those great gaming moments and want to share it with your friends. Well now you can with Shadowplay. It's a new feature in GeForce Experience that makes it super easy to capture and record in-game video. It runs in the background so you never miss those moments. And because it's hardware accelerated, game performance stays great. To enable Shadowplay, open GeForce Experience and click on the Shadowplay button. Flip on the switch and you're ready to go. When Shadowplay is running, you'll see this icon displayed in the corner of the screen. In Shadow Mode, when something cool happens in the game, capture it by hitting Alt F10. Shadow Play will capture up to the last 20 minutes of your gameplay. In addition to Shadow Mode, you can use Manual Mode to start and stop recording at any length. Use Alt F9 to start and stop the recording. All your videos will be saved in a high quality H.264 format, so you can upload them to YouTube and share them with your friends. Once you enable Shadow Play, you'll never miss your greatest gaming moments.
playing your favorite game and you just had one of those great gaming moments and want to share it with your friends. Well, now you can with Shadowplay. It's a new feature in GeForce Experience that makes it super easy to capture and record in-game video. It runs in the background so you never miss those moments. And because it's hardware accelerated, game performance stays great. To enable Shadowplay, open GeForce Experience and click on the Shadowplay button. Flip on the switch and you're ready to go. When Shadowplay is running, you'll see this icon displayed in the corner of the screen. In Shadow Mode, when something cool happens in the game, capture it by hitting Alt F10. Shadowplay will capture up to the last 20 minutes of your gameplay. In addition to Shadow Mode, you can use Manual Mode to start and stop recording at any length. Use Alt F9 to start and stop the recording. All your videos will be saved in a high quality H.264 format, so you can upload them to YouTube and share them with your friends. Once you enable Shadowplay, you'll never miss your greatest gaming moments. And welcome back. Sorry about all of those ads back to back, but we are getting into the action. The second map of the Community Carnage 7 will be on Paracel Storm. We're having a couple of restarts in there now. We did see in the first map, Team Meow taking away the first round. 316 tickets to nil. Team Meow in the second round taking out the round for 545 tickets to nil. Massive stuff for them. So we're wanting to see whether the guys from Team Wolf, which is OGA, Avant Gaming, Legionnaires, Salad, Sons of Valor, and Emphatic Gaming, whether they're able to bring it back on the map that is Parasail Storm. So uh, I'll cross over to Unreal to have a bit of a chat. We've got 23 seconds countdown, and we'll check whether we're going live after this. Yeah, it's not live at the moment, so we're going to have a bit of a wait still. Um, but it's a good time to talk about how this map's actually set out. It's the five flags on different islands, and everything's kind of in a linear fashion with the both spawn points actually um, adjacent to each other and the flags in the middle. So it's going to be a pretty interesting map, and I don't think we're going to see... Really, we're either going to see a really intense battle, and it's going to be, you know, a quiet neck and neck, or it's going to be one team holding five flags and camping the other in the spawn. So I'm hoping it's the close one and not going to be the spawn camping because um, a lot of players would enjoy that. But yeah, hopefully it's going to be quite an even game. Um, I tip Meow again to win just because they won so solidly last time. Um, and I don't really see them be able to come back now. No, no, that's all right. And we do have Crazy in with us now. He's actually in the server before. He was just having a bit of a chat with us um, earlier, but he is in the server with us now. Crazy, what's it feel to be on the winning side here in the Shoutcast Lounge? I cannot explain the emotions that I'm feeling right now. It's unbelievable. I'd just like to thank Gary. <laughs> thank like Gary for dropping out. Side being Pretty much, yeah. Around. Great stuff. I will, uh, while we've got a chance, before we go live in this second map, read out what is the second question. So the first question, just recapping, was what was the uh, the track and artist used in the X5 Live review, reveal video? So the music that was coming over in the re reveal video. Um, the second question is how many games did X5 Live cover during the IM Masters Cup? How many games did we do during that? So again, you'll have to jump on the... Uh, the YouTube page, have a look at the I Am Masters section and see how many games, not how many videos, how many games. So have a look at that and PM me on the CG forums with the details. I, I'll post up the link shortly for you. But uh, just having a quick look at the, uh, the the teams, who do you think we should be looking out for, Crazy? Uh, going off last map and what I've seen, I think Fen's going to be a big, uh, big problem in the boat. If they can neutralise him, then uh, I think they'll go all right. 
great stuff. And what about from you, Unreal? I agree completely. I hope, I really hope that uh, Serum's in the Little Bird, and we could see Serum because he's quite good in Little Bird. But again, it's going to come down to basically Phenom in the boat is the destruction machine. Um, but hoping maybe because it's such an open map and there's nothing, maybe if there's some really good jet pilots on the side of Wolf, they might be able to turn the tides and maybe take out some of the um, the vehicles, and it might be a bit closer. Yeah, great stuff. I have just up in the Twitch TV channel the details for the Cyber Gamer Forum and the channels, uh, the, the competition there. So for the viewers, I've read out both of those questions now. What was the track and artist used in the X5 Live reveal video? And how many games did X5 Live cover during the IM Masters Cup? We do still have in the game live the um, MVP and... Um, knife bounty the mvp is what we will reveal um at the end of the match i think um and the knife bounty uh, we're still waiting for redding and mom Pepe to get taken down by either a knife repair tool and defibrillator um and finally we will have the video competition uh running after the fact uh, so anyone that wants to have a play around with the footage that we'll be hosting here from x5 live and the audio and a few other bits and pieces again jump on those forums to have a look at the details there we still haven't gone live in this match but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be getting a restart shortly unreal what do you think in terms of uh, the, the the important flags to be holding on this map obviously you need to get the three the three that you want what are the most important ones well personally Who's i really love channel? holding a and b in this map because it's the only two maps that are really easy walking distance so i think they're really coverable by infantry so if one uh, team actually just holds a and b with just infantry and Who's uses a lot of the vehicles channel? on either c d or e i think it would be greatly successful maybe even they put out if they get all their boats and put them out on e and cut e off from the other side and have all their inf on a b i think it'd be really hard for the other team to actually break that down any input from you, Craze? Are you feeling that that's the best? Sure, or have you got a uh, an alternative pocket strat to rival the Unreal man? Unreal's pretty clued on, mate. I think he's uh, spot on. What about the uh, the Levolution event? Is that changed things up? <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah, you know, that that uh, shifts into it's it's huge. Point. I'm really hoping to see the Megalodon. Like, I just want just somehow. I, I don't even know if that's the event. No one knows if that's the event. But I want at some point just everyone to fucking Bring just suddenly the a Megalodon tide, comes up. Yeah, and it just comes, sweeps across, starts chewing up all the boats and kills Venom. And I think that would be absolutely brilliant. Everyone wants yeah. to see Fen die, I think. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's the key. Does. It is, it is, and I think there'll be a lot of pressure on the boats there. I think the jets will be coming out and doing a, uh, a pretty good job on them. So we'll wait and see what uh, is able to happen with all of the guys. We do have one of the uh, commanders at the moment that's uh, managed to get his points up and deploy the uh, C-130. Um, so I don't know whether we might get a chance to see a team oh, hold yeah. a flag for long enough to, uh, to employ the C-130. I did see a cruise missile get launched on the uh, the first map but I don't think it managed to kill anyone. So those commander tools are as useless as the entire commander mode, but uh, <laughs> this is pro gaming at its best, and uh, we should see those iPad gamers get into the action in this second round, Unreal. Well, it is 30, it is what, 30 v 30, so it's where the real men are at. This is, you know, it's not your pussy, you know, professional 5v5, 8v8, 10v10 shit. This is, you know, the real deal. And it seems like we actually might be going live now. Um, we just need confirmation on that, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty humorous, um, at the moment to see this mode because it literally is in every aspect of the word, a clusterfuck. It's, it's busy, I think, is the, uh, the the good term, is that there's lots of stuff happening on. It, it's an organised public game, and we're, we are enjoying the action. The community is getting involved, and uh, we are seeing some of the top teams go at it. So it's not like your, your average uh, pub pub game where you've got all, all your snipers sitting up on the hill, although here that's what <laughs> Crazy does best. Uh, I am excited. He, he is excited. He's still excited. <laughs> I'm in game. It I'm seems like it is now. live as well. That's great. We do have the call coming live. We've got 15 seconds left. The guys from Meow lining up on the US team. Wolf are on the China team. 800 tickets apiece as we start to roll up. The Emph Source Man is in the Wolf boat. 
Uh, we also have Dagwood Dog, Meow Boat, and also Phenom, as we predicted in the other Meow Boat. So they do have the two off roll at the US uh, side, and we'll see how they're able to get those into action. Lots of boats coming on to be. Uh, Mon Pepe getting the early push onto the B flag. He's starting to move in with a couple of his friends now. UAVs are starting to go up for, for the I commanders, as uh, we've also got Electric NZ from Crux making the push in, and I think he actually got bushy uh, as he was dropping down. He was on the parachute and Electric NZ took him down with the Ace 23. B has been capped up early by the guys from Wolf. Solid push from them uh, as I'm looking over on A. Meow has managed to secure that up nice and early as uh, the boats are going head to head. We do have a uh, uh, one of the guys, Deluxe, is uh, trying to uh, unrepair the boat, and it looks like that boat has gone down uh, with the Javelin, taking down Tetra, uh, Trigger Happy, Rude Costra, and also his mate Deluxe, who is trying to unrepair the boat in the water, mate. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping at this point someone gets on the top of the tower and picks up that sniper. If it's not banned, and we can see some of this amazing action of the picking up weapons. Um, but getting B flag off rollout from Wolf is actually a really good idea because it spawns the AA. Um, now, whilst there isn't much AA up at the moment, it is a really good vehicle to have as it can move between the flags and just hold it. So it was a good move by them, except it seems like they are on the bleed with uh, Meow opting for C and E. Oh. And yeah, they're not even close. I was going to say, uh, check out Rue Costry in the, uh, the C-130, but he has gone down. He didn't <laughs> manage to get any kills as he was firing that uh, that heavy gun down onto the B point. And it looks like B is now being contested by uh, the guys from Team Meow. They're getting themselves into a position to attack. I've got Romal there. I've got Electric NZ making his uh, way in there and just having a quick look at uh, at him in the first person. Now he's got himself in a nice position as those guys start to get the, the cap on they have secured up the or they've grayed anyway the beef uh, that, that flag there sorry the uh the b flag and they're getting some nice kills in there at the moment um so again meow starting to get themselves in a good position starting to run away on the scoreboard as it reads 765 to 746 in favor of team meow they're unreal I think it's really, unfortunately, their decision-making that's letting them down because E and C are basically, well, E, E not so much, but E and C were basically unmanned for about, the, you know, the last two minutes and no one's been there. Everyone is on A and B and everyone wants these two flags. So I think if Wolf actually abandoned the A, B at the moment and go for C, E just to stem the bleed, then come back, it'd be a really good move by them. Um, but it looks like there's a massive ship fight on B and I think that Wolf might actually be coming, uh, yeah, might be coming out on top of this. They have a couple guys in there at the moment. We've got Weapon X on the ground getting some shots off. Mon Pepe's there. Hopefully he doesn't have anyone behind him with uh, with the uh, repair tool, the knife, or the defense. He's starting to make the push on foot, rounding those buildings now, having a look in. His friends are making the, uh, the push in as well, getting the kills in there. So it looks like the guys from Wolf successful on their recap of that B point, getting themselves in a good position, able to move dynamically onto A. And it looks like that that's where the action is going to be. That point between A and B on that hilltop near that tower is we're going to see a lot of kills coming on thick and fast. I'm on board at the moment with LG Quick, who's in and around those bushes at the moment, getting a shot off there. Looks like he's just managed to take down Death Dog uh, with a headshot. AE Case 971 is his gun of choice, making the uh, the push onto the hill. He's hiding. He's ducking down. He's getting boring, so I'm going to switch to someone else. Uh, might cross to Unreal, actually, to have a bit of a chat about the guys from Wolf and their push onto A. Yeah, it's doing pretty well. They're actually steamrolling over them, which is really impressive. Um, but something that I'd like to know that was just picked up is, um, as you can see, one of the wolf guys has a jihad boat waiting outside the carrier of the US. So maybe they're waiting for um, another boat to come across and get an easy kill on it um, with extinct, extinct, I think is in there. But it looks like wolf have actually capped up the AB, which is exactly what I wanted. So now they can actually maybe hold this and just work on another flag and chuckle their um, vehicles on another flag and they actually might be able to be in good shape on this map. I think they are looking good at the moment is that the scorecard isn't that bad compared to previous the previous map. There's 692 reads, 660 at 
the moment in favour of the Meow team. So Wolf are holding themselves strong. Uh, in part, Uncle Rory, he's got 11 and 0 at the moment. Uh, the rest Whoa. of the guys, uh, Valzo's also got 10 and 4. So good stuff from them, uh, leading the way on the scoreboard and making the change there, Unreal. Yeah, it seems like the shift of um, players has shifted a lot just from A to B and now they're going around C to D with a lot of the Meow players, a ton of the Meow players on C, D and they've just basically abandoned A, B, just let them have it and we're just going to go C, D and E which is a really good move in their position um, but and they're lucky because they do actually have all the vehicles to back them up at the moment but as we see Phenom's coming across into lots of people so Phenom takes out two and there's a lot of firing happening he's just sees them all on the beach trying to get as many shots off takes out the tank I think and he's just still going and going and he's I think he might be able to get out of here unscathed actually which is pretty amazing for him uh, he needs to user disconnected from your channel and it looked like, it looked like Dr. Steve he was having a bit of a uh, storm coming near his area, has actually knocked him out. <laughs> so Dr. Steve has left the studio. Um, so we just kind of try and make do with what we have at the moment. Um, there's a lot of players streaming across from Wolf going towards the D flag, trying to cap up D. So it's a bit of a shit fight happening at D. And we actually do see the um, the commander thing up and like flying across of everything and uh, no one's actually making any use of it as a spawn point or anything, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, what do you make of this all crazy at the moment? Uh, looks like they're capping D and they've also put pressure on E, so we've got a, a bit of a change going on here. Might put a bit more pressure on Meow. Yeah, it's really good to see Wolf actually making the adjustments and trying to get back into this game. Um, yeah, so Wolf, uh, currently, it's two flags apiece, and um, C is in contestion, and it looks like that Meow are actually going to get that flag. Uh, yeah, they're going to get that flag, so they're going to be holding the bleed again, but it's actually a really close map, which is a really good sight from what we've seen previously. Um, and so far on the scoreboard, Venom is easily leading uh, the Meow guys with 11 and 1, doing so much work in the boat. Um, and on the other team, we have a few standouts with Uncle Rory, uh, Voltix and Brains doing actually some really good work over there. And we have Dr. Steve back. So much happiness. Um, Dr. Steve, are you there? I'm back, but I will need to reload back into the okay. server, so I'll have to get oh, you guys right. to keep covering. I'll be back very shortly. That's right. Yeah. Your presence is enough. <laughs> um, it looks like Venom's down here, and we got uh, Emphatic Source pushing on to uh, the D flag here, so could have a bit of a change in a minute. Yeah, a bit of a shit fight. I think that the Meow guys are actually outnumbering them. I'm just following Venom at the moment, doing some infantry work, and it seems like it seems like he can't actually find anyone at the moment. Um, yeah, it looks like Meow actually are going to hold D pretty well, except the Wolf Boat has come up on D flag um, with Source there, and he's just going to start ripping into this building, see if he can find any kills, and hopefully get some action. Yep, they're coming back on D, so they're actually going to get the neutralize on D flags. This is really good work from Wolf, and they're getting back in it, and they might end up possibly with three flags at the end of this. Yes, they're going to cap A, and they're going to cap D. They're going to lose E though, they need some help on A, but they've lost that. Yeah, but they're doing a really good job. They have the three flags, that's all they need at the moment, which is really good for them. So it's, it's, they're doing a much better job. In fact, it's um, 611 to 4, uh, yeah, 611 to 495 at the moment. So it's not, not a one-sided map at all. But it looks like Meow have actually done a bit of a bail onto B. So Meow are going to look to cap up B, except there's a ton of players streaming over the hill from Wolf getting onto this B flag. Um, so we hopefully we'll see a bit of five. Just going to follow Uncle Rory because he's been a major player so far, and he's just going to walk up and see what he can do here. Hopefully, he won't get taken out immediately. He sees one, takes him out. Beautiful play, and he's trying to avoid all tons of explosions happening. And yeah, he looks like he's doing all right. And they're moving around, flanking around the buildings. So they're doing a really good job of actually retaking this. And now Meow are going to get the control back on B, which unfortunately leaves Wolf only with C and E. We've got Legionnaire's quick uh, trying to take care. He's getting shot at the moment. He's oh, he's down. <laughs> he tried. Down he tried. Goes. That's all that he matters. I think trying is like the main point. So if someone, you know, you just have a go. It's okay. And actually, it looks like I think that's Wolf. Yeah, Wolf seemed to be capping E up. Um, I'm sorry, C up. Um, which oh no, they're not capping C up. Unfortunately, they've been completely outnumbered with ridiculous amounts of squad bombs on C. <laughs> 
Um, so it just seems like they're getting outmanned pretty much everywhere they go, but at the same time, yeah, they're actually losing the three flags and they're losing A, unfortunately, which means at the end of this, they're only going to be left with B, and if they lose that, it's really easy to spawn camp in this map just because of the height of the vehicles and how you can only come from one direction. So hopefully that really doesn't happen. Um, I'm going to yeah. have to find yeah, I'm, something. I'm back now, mate, so I will be able to have a bit of a chat about oh what's God. going on since I left last time. Um, so, yeah, the scoreboard does read in favour of Meow at the moment. They are getting themselves in a good position. 557 reads, 439 to the Wolf guys. So, Wolf need to get themselves in a position at the moment. They're on the back foot. They do have two flags, A and B, in their possession at the moment. They need to get themselves on a third point. And it looks like D is where the action is at. The soldiers of Valor are making the push in there at the moment. So we've got CZ there. We've also got a Harry Eagle. Um, and a couple of their other boys making the push in there. Harry Eagle taking down Scary. Um, but it looks like they may be under a little bit of pressure at the moment. Uh, CZ taking down Fresh as it uh, looks like um, there's still a couple of guys in there um, on defence. We've got the Avantis, Edge and also Brains in there on, on defensive duty as SOV. Start to make the push in. They have managed to pack that up. So great work from Wolf. They've got themselves off the bleed. Three flags in their possession, A, B, and D. Looks like, though, the B flag is in contention as a couple of the guys from Meow coming up there. The NFY squad, Fresh, is there. We've also got Coco Butts. We've also got uh, the immunity guys, Redding and Death Dog. Death Dog is there with a sniper rifle, but he's been taken down. Uh, looks like it was Sabre Seed. Uh, with, from Salad with the ACW getting the job done on Death Dog. I don't know where he got that sniper rifle from. don't know if it was a pickup, <laughs> but uh, he didn't get to use it uh, to the, its fullest ability as A seems to be where the cap is happening at the moment, Unreal. Uh, yeah, um, I actually see that uh, Wolf at the moment have two of the big boats, which is a really, really good outcome for them because it means they can control E pretty well without actually having to use a lot of people. So it's good to see they're taking really good advantage of the vehicles they have. So hopefully we're going to see them maybe get had. Um, control. Oh, had? Oh, dear. And actually, Tetra's going to get pushed. I'm just going to go on Venom. I think Venom's just going to rush him now. Um, and I don't think that Tetra is going to be up for much longer. Yeah, Tetra is going down pretty hard at the moment. And he's not going down with his ship, but he's putting slams in the water! So that's all I care about. The slams are in the water, and I'm happy with that. So back to you, Steve. Yeah, great. I think the uh, the guys, um, Calendelf and also Frank Drebin, were doing the job over on those boats. So we will see if these slams make a difference if uh, Phenom gets himself in and around that area towards the end of the carrier uh, where those slams are. But uh, now are uh, getting themselves that E flag back in the cap right now. So they will have that secured up and that will give them the four flag advantage. B flag the only one in favour of the guys from Wolf. Um, so they need to make an effort. They need to get themselves on two more flags to at least get themselves the advantage because this bleed is kicking in now. 462 reads, 334 in favour of the guys from now. Uh, they're just going hard and it looks like they're probably going to have a good advantage as I think the uh, the storm is starting to kick in a little bit mm. now. So we will still, may see that boat get itself loose from its moorings out on the... Uh, on the uh, the wind sail thingy and uh, crash into the sea point and totally change the map, man. <laughs> it, it, it completely changes the dynamic of the map. First, sea flag was there and now there's a boat on it. So that's I, th I think that's pretty game breaking um, as it is. But also I think the one of the main things that actually slightly does have an effect is when it gets the storm going, the boats are a lot less effective. Just the rocking and everything, I can't stand it. It annoys me so horribly. But um, it might mean that a lot of their boats will become less effective. So the infantry work of, um, of Wolf might actually pick up a bit, hopefully. Yeah, I think um, in all seriousness, you are right. It does change the dynamics of the map. Yeah, the, unfortunately, the does seaboard. except it's not in a good way. <laughs> well, it, it is if you're having trouble with boats. And, um, yeah, true. Anyone who says those boats are just a little bit OP, I think, is kidding themselves uh, because <laughs> they are they they are pretty deadly. If you're uh, an infantryman that likes sitting on those uh, yeah, the D and C flags and. Uh, uh, and you're usually pretty decent until one of those boats shows up and just ruins the party. Um, so it does let Ooh, them down. Above, hey. Oh, call it, mate. Oh, well, um, actually, I think... If you can let me know about it, you need to call it. Seen. 
Venom actually hasn't seen um, Hod, who's actually above him, but Hod hasn't seen Venom because the waves are too high. They actually haven't seen each other. No, so it's I'm okay. They're on the Venom same team. Go back. Oh, they are. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's because when I click on it, it goes um, blue and the other one's red. My apologies, yeah. Steve. No, it, it would, would be good if they'd fight it out between each other to give Wolf a bit of a chance. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we're not going to see those guys do it. As I'm crossing over to uh, the C point, which seems to be where the action is at at this stage. We do have a couple of the guys from uh, um, Meow in there. They've cleaned up the job and someone's just unleashed the, uh, the Commander EMP. And so, fuck them quietly. Um, having a look at uh, the rest of the map it looks like we only have a in possession of the guys from team wolf so it's really starting to suffer in this second half of the uh, the first map of the second round sorry second part of the first round whatever it is but we're seeing a little bit of action happening on um, the B point as these guys from wolf are kicking back and they need to at this stage they're unreal yeah, um, it's really, oh, well, at least, um, the wolf guys are doing the smart thing. They're putting boats out, going to E and so, which is, you know, what they need to be doing at this point, because B and A is basically a lost cause. I would love it if I could sit with things, because seeing things is a bit of a challenge at the moment. But I saw some slams actually take out Cell, but that was a team kill, so I don't think that my slams were as useful as I hoped that they would have been, unfortunately. No, that's it. Crossover to Crazy for what he's saying. Uh, I think this round's pretty much over. It's just, uh, Fen is just too dominant in the boat, and, uh, they just need to concentrate more on C, I think. C and E, it, it seems like, uh, Meow don't have enough people there. It's just, I just can't believe it. No, it is a bit unbelievable. We do have a couple of guys from uh, Wolf getting themselves onto Zem Source and his boat crew is doing a decent enough job at the moment in and around the uh, the E point. They have capped that one up. They have got themselves on D as well. A is in possession of Wolf, so they do have themselves the three flags at this second stage of the map, doing a good job. I'm just having a quick look on board with the planes at the moment as they see, all seem to be doing circle work around the China uncapped. Um, um, as uh, we're not getting anyone with a definitive kill, but they're doing a great job doing nice circles in the sky on board with Gandalf at the moment. He's uh, getting a glimpse at uh, um, his counterpart, uh, Raz Razo, um, at times. So we do have one of the guys that looks like they have gone down. Um, so still Frank Drebin and Gandalf from Meow in the air. The only one is Razo from uh, Arayo zone, sorry, from Wolf uh, doing a little bit of a job there. So, uh, but uh, he seems to be in a bit of trouble and he's gone down. Um, so the Jets from Meow doing the business there, Frank Drebin and Gandalf, as it looks like some actions in happening in and around Sea Point there, Unreal. Yeah, they're actually making a nice push from it, but unfortunately the boat of Meow is about to come in and maybe stifle this push. I don't actually know what ticket count this boat should come in and land on sea unless it's happened already. Um, but it looks like Meow are actually going to not let them take it as they seem to be winning the fight at the moment. But they're on the beach side and they're on and Wolf are on the other side. I'm just trying to find a player that won't die instantly. And um, yeah, this this uh, EMP thing is still going. That is quite frustrating at the moment. It's making things a little bit difficult. We may not even see this destroyer lodge itself from the other uh, tower. I think the tickets are going down a little bit too quickly as uh, we've got 78 on the board remaining for the Wolf team. 336 is the margin in favour of Meow at the moment. Sea Flag has just been recapped up. Meow have got themselves in a good position to recap that one up. Uh, having a look over on the D point at the moment now as uh, Meow again putting some troops in and around that D point. Um, we do have Wolf in defence there. A couple of the guys, it is the advanced squad of Brains and Valzo getting some shots into the water, having a look around there, trying to do the cleanup work along that side. They're getting some shots up onto the little bird that is flying over them at the moment. It looks like that cell uh, that is doing the work there. He's just flown straight over the top of D and gone on his merry way, but I think he may have actually... No, he hasn't down yet, but uh, he is putting some fire down over... Uh, he's recollecting himself. Uh, and there's a heap of guys making their way from C over to the D point. Um, so it looks like Meow are getting themselves in a position to really hit D point there. 
Yeah, by the time D is even neutralized, I'm pretty sure the game is going to be over. So we just have to hope for next game that they don't get thrashed too hard. They were looking really good for the most part of the game. It was actually quite close, and at one point they were bringing back the ticket lead. But unfortunately, it just got away from them. And 341, it's okay. You know, the starting tickets are quite high. We'll say it's respectable, considering what's happened. But um, yeah, I'd like to see them do a bit better next time, unfortunately. Yeah, me too, mate. Me too. As the scoreboards will come up in just a moment, we'll run through those. So as you predict, both of you before the uh, the start of the round, Phenom doing the job. 31 kills, 6 deaths to that man. We also had uh, Zetafu from Crux getting at 26 kills, 13 deaths. Death, Death Dog doing the business on foot. 21 kills, 13 deaths for him and one of his uh, uh, fellow IM dudes. 15 kills for the Dick Command. Over on Wolf there, um, Unreal, what would you say? Uh, well, Tetra's leading the way, 1711. Uncle Rory actually doing really good inf work because he was on the ground most of the part, 239, so good work there. Um, Rude Costry, 2210. Brain's doing good work, 159. 18 fine on S SVG lol. And Jevs is doing 14.3, and yeah, now it's going to go restart. I don't know if it's going to be live straight away though. No, that's okay. We might have a quick little uh, break to regather ourselves, and we'll be back in a moment for the second half of the second map. Hey guys, so today I got my hands on the new NVIDIA Shield, and since NVIDIA says you can play this anywhere, well, I guess that's how I should conduct this review. This thing's super fast. It's got a Tegra 4 chip, which is a quad-core mobile processor with two gigabytes of RAM. It's also got 16 gigabytes of flash memory built in. One of the biggest things Shield offers gamers is the ability to play your PC games over your home Wi-Fi network away from your computer using your GeForce GTX-based PC. I'm like 30 feet from my apartment right now, and I'm playing Metro. Although being able to stream your PC games is a pretty sweet feature, this little guy really does a lot more. You can download thousands of movies and TV shows using apps like Netflix or Hulu Plus. <laughs> All right, guys, time for candy and Game of Thrones. Yeah! Yeah! It's also got a mini HDMI port, so you can plug it right into your TV. You can also download the latest console-quality Android games and emulators. You can hit up Tegra Zone or Google Play to download a continuously growing game like Shut the fuck up. You shh. The Shield's designed and built like a console-grade controller. Fits really nicely in your hand, and it's fairly light, weighing in at 579 grams. What you got, big boy? What you got? Is that it? Ah! It's got a built-in microphone that can pick me up pretty much anywhere. It also has integrated stereo speakers, so this thing can get pretty loud, but has a very crisp sound. Ladies, did you know that you can use this thing to access social media? You don't understand? No, we're filming. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding. I'm going to call you glasses. Hey, guys. So today I got my hands on the new NVIDIA Shield. And since NVIDIA says you can play this anywhere, well, I guess that's how I should conduct this review. This thing's super fast. It's got a Tegra 4 chip, which is a quad-core mobile processor with two gigabytes of RAM. It's also got 16 gigabytes of flash memory built in. One of the biggest things Shield offers gamers is the ability to play your PC games over your home Wi-Fi network away from your computer using your GeForce GTX-based PC. I'm like 30 feet from my apartment right now, and I'm playing Metro. PC games is a pretty sweet feature. This little guy really does a lot more. You can download thousands of movies and TV shows using apps like Netflix or Hulu Plus. All right, guys, time for candy and Game of Thrones. Yeah! Yeah! It's also got a mini HDMI port, so you can plug it right into your TV. You can also download the latest console-quality Android games and emulators. You can hit up Tegra Zone or Google Play to download a continuously growing game like Shut the fuck up. You shh. The Shield's designed and built like a console-grade controller. Fits really nicely in your hand, and it's fairly light, weighing in at 579 grams. What you got, big boy? What you got? Is that it? It's got a built-in microphone that can pick me up pretty much anywhere. It also has integrated stereo speakers, so this thing can get pretty loud, but has a very crisp sound.
for this. playing your favorite game and you just had one of those great gaming moments and want to share it with your friends. Well now you can with Shadowplay. It's a new feature in GeForce Experience that makes it super easy to capture and record in-game video. It runs in the background so you never miss those moments. And because it's hardware accelerated, game performance stays great. To enable Shadowplay, open GeForce Experience and click on the Shadowplay button. Flip on the switch and you're ready to go. When Shadowplay is running, you'll see this icon displayed in the corner of the screen. In Shadow Mode, when something cool happens in the game, capture it by hitting Alt F10. Shadow Play will capture up to the last 20 minutes of your gameplay. In addition to Shadow Mode, you can use Manual Mode to start and stop recording at any length. Use Alt F9 to start and stop the recording. All your videos will be saved in a high quality H.264 format, so you can upload them to YouTube and share them with your friends. Once you enable Shadow Play, you'll never miss your greatest gaming moments. your favorite game and you just had one of those great gaming moments and want to share it with your friends. Well now you can with Shadow Play. It's a new feature in GeForce Experience that makes it super easy to capture and record in-game video. It runs in the background so you never miss those moments. And because it's hardware accelerated, game performance stays And welcome back, Ms. My name is Dr. Steve from X5 Live. I'm joined by Noms in the camera van, Unreal and Crazy on the co-caster seat. And we're getting into what is the second round of the second map on Paracel Storm. The first round was taken out by Meow. 341 tickets to zip. Uh, what are the guys from Wolf going to need to do there, Unreal? I think have a winning attitude. Actually, tactics has not seemed to prevail. So I think the only thing they can hope for is have a winning attitude and search around the map for the Megalodon to try eat uh, Venom's boat. Crazy, any input on that? Uh, yes, I'm tipping Meow to win this round, so Wolf actually has a chance. And uh, uh, Venom's boat's going to run out of petrol, so we're sweet. Did, did you short fuel him? I did. He stuffed it. That's it, it's a given. No, that's good stuff, and I think we've got uh, not live being called out at the moment. So at the moment, the uh, the seas are nice and calm on the Paracel Storm map, and uh, we do have live getting called out. So we are going rolling out now. This is live for the second round, and lots of people pushing out. D is uh, the push for the Cryptic Man from X5. He's put his little jet ski over there. He's being backed up by Phenom at the moment. Looks like the uh, man from X5 Serum is heading down to the E point. So three pronged attack coming in from uh, X5, uh, but B seems to be rushed over nice and quickly by the guys from Wolf on the US side, the blue side in this second round there, Unreal. 
Yeah, it was really smart what they actually did because last time there was a massive shit fight over A and B and they decided we're just going to avoid that, we don't need to deal with that and just go for D and E because no one went for them last round. So they got two easy flags which they can kind of work off because they seem to be winning the infights, so they can always get A and B later. So it was pretty smart and looks like Serum got in the little bird and he's now trying to take out um, two of the wolf players, Weapon X, and they're trying to take him out on the E flag. So nice little battle going over there. And it looks like Serum's actually going to get backed up by Phenom. So we have the little bird, uh, little bird and the boat are going to maybe wipe all these players from Wolf on E. Um, and except it looks like Wolf actually left a really good start with the C, B and A. And they're holding them quite well. So, oh, okay, E's going to be taken up. Um, they wiped them on E, so E's going to be taken up. But yeah, really good start for Wolf on this second uh, round. Yeah, they've done a good job. I might go over to Crazy for expert commentary on rollout. What'd you say, mate? Uh, looks like uh, Rue Costry is actually going to push Venom here on the E flag. They have a, a whole squad there. Oh no. Down he goes. Just smash Rue Costry. On his way to E, he's gone. We have two wolf boats heading towards uh, D here. This is going to be pivotal. Yeah, it looks like Fenner might actually walk into this crossfire if he's not too careful of these boats, but it seems like he's spotted them and he's actually playing really tactically around the corner, as Fenner generally does. Except hopefully he'll go down here, and he does, finally! So, really good work by Source taking out uh, Fenner down there, so we might see a bit of uh, wolf domination at the moment. Wolf domination is what I want to see. You guys do have themselves on three flags at the moment, A, B, and D. They do have the bleed in their favour. 770 tickets read 696 in favour of the Wolf guys for the first time tonight. So they're doing a good job, and they're making the push over onto the D point. I'm seeing Savage Lol on foot making his way in. I'm also seeing Tetra in and around there at the moment. Oh, it looks like Gravy Bro from Meow took down uh, one of the guys there. It looks like it was uh, Avatar. Avarice going down there um, as it looks like a, the, the a Soldier of Valor do have a small beacon in there. So they've got a couple of their guys, CZ, coming in on foot at the moment. CZ managed to get a kill on Gravy Bro, doing a good job there. So a few guys from the guys from Wolf making the push onto D right now. E seems to be where there's a bit of action at as well, Unreal. Yeah, and I think that Wolf are actually going to cap this up, which is really good work by them. And they, Well, they're going to hold the three because they lost A, unfortunately. And there seems to be actually a bit of a fight between A and B on that tower. They're trying to get a, the, you know, the contest for high grounds. So they can put down their delicious spawn beacon and see a bit of C4 also going out. Oh, a bit few med packs. And hopefully we'll see a bit of a fight actually between Venom and Source at the A flag with the two boats. Great stuff. If someone could let me know which team striker is on i need to ban him so someone can do keep calling and i'll track him down and get him off the server striker is on meow he's number 17 wonderful thank you so much <laughs> yeah so um yeah so Fenom's actually running away from the enemy boat who's at his back so Fenom might actually get taken out here uh, by source with really nice play and Fenom's just trying to do as much he's damage as he possibly here. can yeah, I think he's, he's going down here. He's definitely going down. And yep, yeah, he's going go. down. That's a crowd favourite. Yeah, we, we like seeing Phenom die. I think the goal is just to kill Phenom in this game. And it seems like we're doing a good job. And funnily enough, every time they do kill Phenom, they do seem to be winning. So I'm just hoping that they continue screwing up Phenom's game. And uh, yeah, we'll have a really good game on our hands. And Jush actually sitting up there. There's another, seems to be another um, battle of the boats again. There's so many boats in this map um, between Tetra and Tetra wins it. So Wolf winning another boat battle, except unfortunately they don't have the flags. Oh yes, they do have the flags. They have four flags to um, the Chinese on Meow's one. So they're having a nice bleed and the bleed's really doing some work. So I don't know what they've changed up. They've got a lot more movement. Um, they also have a lot more air control as well as um, they have all the boats. So it just seems like the vehicles are really working for them, as it is pretty expected. And I'm back now that uh, that man has been removed from the server. He's just been bounced. B point is under contention at the moment. We do have some guys in and around there from Meow, getting themselves back on the board, getting the pressure back on. Ambro is there from Crux. He's there with a couple of his mates, uh, although one of his friends has just gone down and looks like both both of his other friends uh, that were in the squad with him have all gone down. So that's Crux's squad 
has been quickly taken out. Looks like the LG boy is doing the work in and around that B point. So great stuff from Wolf. They're doing the job that they needed to do from the very start of tonight. It's been a bit lax from them, but uh, good to see they're kicking into gear. Now they're unreal. Yeah, they just, I don't know what to say. It doesn't seem like their strategy has changed immensely. I think that um, the Meow actually did have a smarter rollout, but they just seem to be winning now. They just seem to be winning the firefight. So I think my winning attitude is actually really paying off because they actually just seem to be playing better. If that's, yeah, if that can be said. And there's a bit Great of a shit fight over, over to Crazy. Yeah, yeah, there's a yeah, shit yeah. fight over at C actually. Crazy, do you want to comment? Uh, sorry, we just had a boat go to uh, E there, and um, straight away we had uh, Wolf just spawn two players in, so that's a really good play by them. We have, actually have the little bird there as well, but this could be a really pivotal point because we've got two boats actually heading to E right now from the Wolf side and also one from the Meow side, so there's a big fight coming up here. Cross fingers, Fenn Great. dies, that's the plan. Oh, Fenn has gone down massively. It's going to be... Venom vs Tetra, here we go. And, and Venom dies! That's a crowd favorite. Went down. Yes, that's three times I think now, so he's not having the best game and it seems to be working really in Wolf's favor. But you know why? He had M Source behind him. M Source just crept up from nowhere in the other boat for Wolf and just sort of laid down that smack right behind him and uh, he had nowhere to go, getting just double teamed by M Source and Tetra. Um, so a bit of bad luck from Venom there, but Wolf really doing the business here. They do have themselves with four flags, A, B, D, and E. C flag is the only flag in um, possession of the Meow team, um, and they're going to need to make a change there. Death Dog still got that sniper rifle making uh, epically long distance shots at the moment. I haven't seen him take down anyone yet. People keep moving out of his scope as he's taking those shots. Uh, I'm going to watch him for a little bit. You guys can call something else. Oh, where is he, by the way? He's over near the other uh, seat and he's sort of just laying the, the fire down halfway across the map. So we do still have those uh, those oh, snipers. Yeah. It, it is a pub game officially now. Um, <laughs> we're seeing Death Dog with the sniper rifle. Uh, but there's still plenty of action happening in other points of the map. We do have a push on to, to A. Uh, but it looks like that's, uh, that's being sorted out by M Source in the boat. Uh, I'm going to keep watching Death Dog with the sniper rifle. What are you having a look at for yourself there, mate? Um, just the boats. I think the boats seem to be where all the action's at, all these boat battles. And it looks like, oh, we might see some slams. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Oh. One. Yep. He didn't Both die, though. Are gone. He didn't die. Oh, that's so upsetting. But we did see slams in the water, and it is the effort that counts, so I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, it looks like Wolf, Wolf actually have all three boats, so I actually see no real way of um, Meow coming back in this because they have the three boats, they have a lot of the air control. Actually, here comes Venom back in the boat, so he might try to take out Source and then maybe get a foothold onto D and help out D. But it's going to be really uphill from here. We haven't seen that. Uh, we do see this storm starting to pick up a little bit, so hopefully this time around we will see a little bit of action coming over from that uh, that boat uh, dislodging itself on the wind farm. But uh, e, uh, it looks like E seems to be a bit of action at the moment. We do have uh, I Am Trigger happy there. The Wolf Squad is being backed up by uh, uh, Existence, and we've uh, but we've got uh, the X5 guys, Serum and Deluxe, hiding below the bottom of that carrier, having a look there. Uh, they did manage to grey that up, but it looks like they're going to be under a little bit of pressure from the boat and the little bird that's flying around, keeping an eye out for them. There we go, Trigger Happy. It's managed to take down Serum, doing a good job on that little bird. Deluxe is still there, um, and he's uh, he's been <laughs> taken he out goes. by the boat. Wow, what happened there, crazy? I'm pretty sure he drowned. <laughs> yeah, he did. He went looking for the Megalodon. Another crowd please, another crowd please. <laughs> yeah, another crowd please. I believe he's actually the bounty for this round. I'm not he sure is. whether yeah. the, the last bounty got called or whether he just they needed someone easier to kill because may, maybe it was that Redding, no one could take down Redding, so pick an easier target. Deluxe is your man. Yeah, I think um, also I think a lot of the bounties were being in vehicles. I'm not sure. I haven't been tracking. I thought Redding was infantry, but he might be in a vehicle on this map, so they may have just changed it up. And Deluxe is a very easy bounty, we'll be honest. Um, so we might actually see some money being thrown out, hopefully. Hopefully not too much, so uh, they might have empty pockets if, uh, if they keep in the kills. We haven't seen anything come up on the screen as yet, but we will keep an eye on on that. Um, 
Back on the map though, and Meow have kicked back and they've managed to capture themselves A, B and uh, C at the moment. Yeah, C is where a lot of action is um, as Wolf try and recap that one, Crazy. Yes, we've got the uh, OGA squad here and they need to capture the flag if they've got any chance of getting a good ticket lead here. They have. And we have two of the Wolf boats pushing towards A it looks like. And nice push. stuff. I'm actually watching. Oh, shot from. Uh, sorry to cut you off there. I'm just watching Thrask in the uh, in the C uh, C130 gunship. He managed to get a nice double kill on the uh, the guys in the back seat of one of those boats. So he's doing a great job laying down the heavy fire with that uh, C130 in the sky. Back to you there, crazy. Uh, looks like we have Hod in a jihad boat going for. Uh... Who's he going for? He's going for Tetra. Oh, Oh, no, he's in trouble. He's been spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff, Unreal. What are you seeing, mate? Um, well, now that they've taken... Well, now that Meow are actually coming back a bit in this, uh, it seems like we kind of... Yeah, I don't know what Wolf can do. They do have the air control still, um, and they do still kind of... If they get D, they will have the three flags, so it will still be in a decent position for them. Um, but hopefully Meow doesn't run away from that. <laughs> I'm just going to watch Thrask. And it looks like Thrask is trying to take out a boat of some kind. And he's laying down the old fire with the AC-130. Which is nice to see it's being used, you know. Um, but quite unsuccessful. It, it is moment. one of the commander assets. You know, we need to get those guys on the iPads doing something. He just takes down Sean's <laughs> maggot with a nice um, ship shot tail of that boat. Uh, so no repairs coming over from Sean's maggot anymore. Cross over to the scoreboard, have a quick look what's going on there. 578 in favour of the guys from Wolf, doing a great job uh, looking at 226 to Team Meow. So we may see the guys from Wolf taking up this, uh, this round and maybe even this map if they're able to keep that score nice and high. Yeah, we, we hope so. We wanted to see some close, but this is actually pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with how this round's gone. I think everyone is, um, considering it's not a complete stomp. Um, but I have a bad feeling that Meow are actually starting to get a bit of a foothold. When Now that they have A and B, they're just working on one of the other lower flags. And I think once they get that, it might be very difficult for Wolf to actually make a presence. However, there is a strong Wolf presence on D flag, so it looks like they have a lot more players than Meow on there. So hopefully they'll be able to keep this and they'll be able to hold that um, C, D, E flag. That's it. I'm still watching uh, Thrasco crazy in the gunship. He's getting kills over and over again, but uh, I should probably look at what's going on at the rest of the map. D is being put under a little bit of pressure. We do have the Crux guys in there at the moment. Zetafu's there. Romal, his mate's just been taken down along with Clowns. Um, so those guys are getting a bit of pressure put on them at the moment. Zetafu getting an ace 23 kill on Weapon X. Um, and a few other kills coming in there. It's really hard to follow the kills, so we do apologise in terms of being able to run through the kill feed because I don't know where on the map these are coming from uh, a lot of the time, but it looks like the guys from Meow Squad of Crux have secured up that D point, done a good job, pushed the numbers in there when needed, and have secured that up. A point has been contested, and Wolf come out victorious. Lots of guys in there at the moment. Quick, we've also got uh, the OGA uh, squad. So LG and OGA made the uh, push in with um, a couple of the guys from Emphatic and capped up A, secured that, and they'll be making the push over the hill now to the B point. Uh, VT Hod is in there at the moment, as is the Abdog. Uh, so they'll be putting the pressure on Abdog, getting a nice kill on, uh, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but Quick took down the Abdog <laughs> at the end of it. Uh, so if you want to have your names read out on the stream, make sure they're pronounceable uh, as we cross over to Unreal for his view on things. Yeah, well, Venom, I'm just tracking Venom because it's enjoyable. And oh yeah, they're making a bit of a bail from Yeah onto E flags. They're making a bit of play, trying to get off this bleed on a flag, which doesn't have many players. So it's a good idea, but Venom is about to get wrecked in the back from Tetra. However, the waves make it very difficult for Tetra to actually see him and can't see him at the moment. And they're going to basically run into each other. And there's a massive shit fight happening now. And I can't see who's actually getting the advantage at all. But Venom seems to get around the back. Someone's chucked down some slams trying to get it. And I think Venom's actually being hit by a slam and he's stickied. Thrask is still up in the gut chip, just just for everyone's information. <laughs> I and think he's just found his home there. From... He doesn't want to leave. He's, have... he's happy in his gunship. 
He is, he is. We did get some calls from the uh, the stream at the moment. They're saying that that's the uh, best footage at the moment as he gets a nice kill on Mon Pepe. I don't know if that counts for the uh, the bounty prize because he is in the gunship, but he's just doing a great job. He's up there with Dirk and Scary at the moment, and they're, they're just having a nice old time flying around, uh, having a look at the scoreboard. I'll just try and see where he, where he is in terms of uh, the kills at the moment. I don't think they're netting him a whole lot of points, but uh, he is having a good old time up there in the AC-130, mate. Yeah, it's, I think that's the best thing to do in this kind of situation. Just have a nice fly around, just enjoy the scenery, enjoy, you know, the prettiness of all the battlefield at the moment, and just kind of have a nice little time. And Thrask is doing a great job at that, and, uh, yeah, seems to be reaping the rewards of it. <laughs> Actually, I just had a look. He's 19 and 6 at the moment, I think. <laughs> What'd you see, Crazy? Uh, the OJ squad's hitting up D now, so it's going to be big for the overall scheme of things. They've got D pretty easy, it looks like. Yeah, they do have a couple of guys in there at the moment, although in saying that, uh, we do have Sadak making the, uh, the back push on them. Uh, at the moment, he's a solo man getting a couple of shots over and he's been taken down. It looks it was, uh, it was actually one of the uh, the SOV guys, CZ, taking down Sadak. Um, so they're doing a good job and D is now being held solely by the guys from Wolf. But a bit of pressure coming on from Phenom. He's in that, but he's dropped off a mate. Serum's been dropped off and what are you able to see there now, Unreal? Um, just a shit fight at sea, basically, and it looks like Meow are really getting the upper hand, so Meow are going to take it back to three flags to um, Wolf's two, so Meow might actually bring back a lot of tickets if they can just hold this, except, as you can see, nothing at A or B, they have no defense whatsoever. We do have whatsoever. Flip on his way and a chopper to uh, A, so looks like he might be able to cap this uncontested. Yeah, hopefully Wolf will be able to come back. I do want to see... Oh, no, bad news, victory. guys. News. I've got some bad news to deliver. Twist the rest. Rest is out. dead. Yeah, oh no. my god. You've broken my heart. That's so upsetting. That's... That's a turning point. I'd like to have a moment of silence. We should probably carry on with this. This scorecard reads 415 tickets to 71 in favour of the guys from Wolf. They have to keep it above the level of 341. They are coming so, so they're it getting is getting close. Oh, they are going to get it? They're getting A back? Yeah, yeah they get, they've got A. But they Beautiful. are losing. Oh, nice. They are losing deep. All oh, right, Phenom well, taken we need out. to see the wolf. Oh, so really? What happened there, so that mate? That means wolf are, wolf are basically winning grains in the chopper. He's actually doing a really, really nice job in the chopper. Coming up 39 for 6 so far in the little bird. And yeah, just taking out Phenom. So I think with Phenom down and this um, ticket bleed happening, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they can actually win this match. They, they need to. It would be really disappointing and demoralising and that they'd have trouble sleeping through the tears if they were went away tonight without winning a map. So I hope these guys are able to do some heavy efforts as D seems to be under heavy contention. The Brains guys with from there. Meow have solid that. Cool, mate. Brains is just dominating this little bird. He's loving it. He's up oh, to we 43 good stuff from him. now. He did, we saw good stuff from him in the IM Masters Cup. 43 in the to 6. He is just dominating this map at the moment. That's massive stuff. Let's track where he's heading to next. And it seems to be the C point is where he's going to be laying down the fire now, crazy. Yeah, he took out Safatu and now he's flying around, just um, spinning around on the map. He's actually getting hit pretty hard. But hopefully, we'll be able to see him take out. <laughs> Thrask gets a three triple kill with a small. Um, really nice work there. I don't actually know what it was on, unfortunately. It was probably but a Thrask boat, I'd say. Work. And our uh, brains went down. His boat has sunk into the nethers, so he's uh, gonna have a nice bit of exercise swimming to shore, which is what we should be doing. Bad um, news, guys. Think it's... Yeah. Thrask is getting. Bad news. We, we, we've gone past the 341 tickets, uh... so the guys from Meow have won this second map. Uh, they may not have the round, but it looks like they've got the map entirely. So it's unfortunate for, for the Wolf team. Uh, they've tried their hardest and uh, ultimately they failed. But uh, it was a good we comeback. will. What... Oh, was... yeah, they did a great job. Um, but uh, it wasn't enough tonight. We'll see them round out. They've still got uh, the lead on this second round, so we will see what they're able to do now. The push is coming on to A. I think we are going to see a bit of a uh, bot battle coming on 
there as a couple of the guys are fighting it out and it looks like no there we go phoenix done the job over m for the source uh, the push was on from the Emp guys and uh, Phenom won that battle. Oh, big kill there from Mind Machine. I'm not sure what happened yeah, there. Yeah, he was in the boat out and he took out the other boat, yeah. So now they have no boats on the side of Wolf, um, unfortunately. And actually, things are going really, really pear-shaped for Wolf as they just got B back, but they were down a few flags and now they don't have the lead anymore. And if they hold the tickets, they might actually pull it back. I, they obviously, um, well, they might be able to win, but I highly doubt That's it. That's a big call, mate. Oh, how good would it be though? A nice, you know, casual 250 ticket comeback, as you do. Pretty standard. I think it's going to be a tough ask as we see the tickets read 247 to 15 um, in favour of the guys from Wolf. So uh, it'll be, have to be a pretty epic uh, battle from Meow to pull it back. But uh, we'll see. We've, we've seen strange things happen in this Battlefield game as I'm um, just on board with uh, the Mind Machine Man who's been marked as a high value target in his boat <laughs> so the the commander has felt it proper to to mark him up and i think we do have the c-130 up for the guys from the wolf the commander has got the c-130 up where's the rest we'll see oh no oh, here we go round is time. over it wasn't able to be employed um it was actually the wolf team that had it up that time so it was a bit different uh, 227 tickets in favour of the guys from Team Wolf, and obviously the uh, the man of the uh, the hour in that first match was the brains guy. He got 47, 49 kills to seven deaths, um, followed up by Savage Lol uh, with 29 kills, 14, um, and then the rest of them were doing just well with the team points. What about over on the Meow Squad? Uh, Gandalf topping out 23-3. I'm pretty sure he was in the, uh, jets. In the jet, mate. Yeah, yeah he's one of the best jets in Oz, so that's actually no real surprise. Um, Cell, I think he was in the boat or Little Bird, um, coming up 27-11. Thrask 2019, oh, sorry, Thrask 25-7, and a lot of that channel. was in the AC-130, which is pretty nice. I'm trying to find, User uh, to oh, a channel. lot of them already left, unfortunately, but yeah. All I had to do was User tip me was out. moved to your channel. Indeed. Yes, and we do ha we are being joined at the moment by quite a few people for a bit channel. of a post match chat. So we'll have a quick look over and see User who's joined us so far. Channel. The first person I'll probably User have a chat to, to is uh, the deluxe man uh, from Exile Five, User doing a good channel. job for his squad. Um, How did you find User tonight, went, mate? To Heaps channel. of stuff going on all the time. It was pretty intense all round. User was moved to your channel. Yeah, it was uh, really. Really good fun, actually. Really enjoyed it. It's, um, it uh, did have some sort of resemblance to the old school community carnages, and that was really good. I'm glad that we all got that battlefield feeling. So, um, no, I was really happy with how the night went. I thought the games were pretty intense on both maps, you know. Um, it didn't seem too one sided, not a really good play. It was just really fun running around, shooting at guys with, um, with tags on that I know, you know, that I can sort of jump, in, jump out of the game afterwards and have a lol about. So, um, bad luck to Bushy, he tried. User he did indeed, mate. Channel. I'll cross over to uh, Crazy to have a chat with a couple of the guys. Who who, who in there do you want to have a chat to at the moment? Uh, Fen's not here. Clowns, how'd you find that, mate? Oh, man, it was hectic. It's pretty User crazy. We were running channel. around from point to point. Me and the lads. User was moved to your channel. User was moved to your Again, channel. Again, brains in that chopper, though, on Paracel. Just kept on nailing us every time yeah. that D flag. Sorry, mate. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to RPG you, but you just keep moving too fast. <laughs> User was moved to your channel. That nah, was good fun, though. Lads enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Very good Great. fun. Good stuff. Uh, I'll go down to Sad Act. He's joined us for the first time for a bit of a chat. How'd you find the community carnage round went, mate? Hey, Steve. Yeah, it was um, it was pretty good. Um, very similar to the old ones. A bit messy in the end, but um. It's a 64 player match, so that's to be expected. Yeah, I don't think uh, we, we expect it to be all all cogs firing um, or all cogs turning in unison, but uh, it was good fun nonetheless. So we do have a couple of the other guys in there. Brains has his mic muted, and I'm hoping he'll be able to have a chat. Um, you just seem to carve it up in that little bird once you got a hold of it on that uh, second round of the second map, mate. Uh, how'd you find it went? Oh, it was pretty fun, man. Um, I think I was kind of lucky that people forgot about me at some stage, but... Uh... Yeah, um, I was getting repairs, which was helpful because otherwise I would have got totally rigged. But that was pretty hilarious. I got a couple of road kills, so it's kind of humorous, but that was cool. That was fun. 
good stuff. Dagwood Dog, how'd you find the night? Uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, bit laggy, but yeah, it was really good fun getting to play with a lot of people who are in the community. It was great fun. Loved it. Excellent stuff. Enjoy the source has also joined us, mate. How were your experiences tonight? Oh, yeah, it was pretty good fun. Uh, good time in the attack boat on that second map. Not so much on the first map. No, we saw you got a bit of pressure put on you from Phenom and the other the other guys, yeah, you but uh, you seem to have have a bit of a uh, bit of an upper hand in the second time. Yeah, we did. It was good times in the second round. Excellent. Also got waffles in there at the moment, mate. How'd you find the night went for you? Not going to speak to me, but uh, Ko, how'd you find things? Yeah, good, mate. I was commanding. Had a good time. Boys listened up. Top no, notch, that's mate. Good. Uh, did did you operate it from the desktop? Is it from the iPad on the dunny? No, I was on the iPad, bro. On the dunny. Nice one. Good work. Making use of those uh, new technologies there. Uh, Mon Pepe from OGA. Uh, we saw you getting in amongst the action. The question is, did the bounty go off on your head? Yeah, it did. Um, oh, was it Reeds who got me? Oh, I had like fucking three or four of them chasing me with repair tools out and I was running away I and they came around the other side. Um, <laughs> I heard also... rumors that our, the OGA squad had orders to TK um, Mon Pepe if uh, he was <laughs> going to get a repair tool so obviously that <laughs> failed miserably. Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, there's a rock and I shot a guy behind a rock and I told one of the guys in the squad, I bet this is reading. And I was right behind him, I shot him and it was reading. I was like, fuck, I should have knifed him. Well, it's sad to hear that you went down like that. That sounds like someone will be 50 bucks richer as a result of your death there. So great stuff. Uh, we've also got Murdoch in there from NFY. How'd you find the night went, mate? Um, we were quite under coordinated towards the end, but we had a lot of fun on high now. We saw you doing a, a good job, your, uh, your APC squad, making a couple of the pushes in between flags. So uh, it, was, it was good to see you guys getting amongst the action. Um, just having a look through the list. Who haven't we had a chat to tonight? Uh, we've also got Cypho in there, uh, mate. How'd you find things went? Oh, yeah, it went pretty well overall. Like, all the guys had fun. Nuts definitely had fun. He always does. Um, voiceless... Like, it pretty much had the same experience as what he predicted as going into the Little Bird pilot as, like, he'd just get completely targeted by a shitload of stickers. And whenever he went past C, that's pretty much what, what happened. Um, but, yeah, everyone had fun. Like, we were a little bit unorganized, but it was, yeah, good fun overall. Great stuff. Uh, I'll have a uh, over to Unreal. I'll have the cast for tonight. Uh, is there anyone in here that you want to have a chat to? Cracky! How'd you go, mate? How'd you find it? <laughs> I only played the last half of the game because <laughs> I got roped into it. <laughs> but um, that was awesome fun. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. I'd, nobody told me. Nobody said anything. So I kind of just ran around looking for Deluxe the whole time. <laughs> Ran into him maybe twice, and uh, yeah, it didn't end well for me, so maybe I should learn to run without my knife. No, no, you should always run with your knife, you run faster. It's okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, how'd you find it, Lightning? Oh, commanding. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty aged, to be honest, you know, it's not BF2 <laughs> commanding, but I was, um, I was happy to do the role in the end. I think Kay and I had to sort ourselves out for, you know, the, for the the second, the last round of that parasail, get on the right teams and all that, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it went okay. I, it's a bit of a pity that they've really sort of nerfed it all. Mm. Probably, I suppose, as a product of trying to get it onto tablets and iPads and shit like that. But from what I hear about from the ST guys on the ground, they all had User was pretty good times and good fun. So that's the main thing, as long as people are having fun. I have a question. Do you think that pooing would have made the experience better? Yep. There it is. <laughs> that's all I cared about. There we go. Uh, it's good. Uh, it's good to hear from everybody tonight, and uh, just a big thank you to all. We've got all the clan captains here in TeamSpeak at the moment. Big thank you to all you guys for getting all you guys so organised. I was saying to a couple of the guys, it was seven fifty-seven, and the server was thirty-two v thirty-two, with the commanders in, ready to rock and roll. All the clans were ready to go, so it was really the, probably the most organised community carnage we've ever had. To be honest, it was so easy and you guys were a dream to work with. So we're 
most 100% going to be doing another event like this in the future, no doubt, because it was just great fun and everyone was so organised and behaved. We only banned one person from the server for the entire night. So, um, no, big props. Everyone, everyone did really well. And so I think we're uh, going to announce the prizes for everybody um, in the thread on CyberGamer. So make sure you tune into that to check out uh, check out who, who won. Um, the bounty prize, the only person who managed to get the bounty tonight was Reeds from Team XL5. No, it's not Reed. Uh, he was the only one who managed to take down Mon Pepe. And big shout out to Bushy, who tried about three times on me. He got very, very close a couple of times, and I'm sure he's spitting chips that he didn't manage to quite get it into me. So that's that's about it for that one. But um, basically, just with um, with everything tonight. Big thank you to our sponsors, Coolmaster, CM Storm, and NVIDIA, because we can't run these events without those guys. They're the ones who are putting all the gear forward, all the money forward, and um, we absolutely love them, and they want to keep supporting Battlefield, which is awesome. So big shout-out to those guys. They're doing doing a lot for us. Um, keep track with everything we're doing, because we are going to run more events like this in the future, guys, and it's really, really good fun. So you can like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash teamxl5. Checks out on YouTube all the VODs from the Community Carnage. I'll get to that in a second, but everything that involves with Community Carnage is going to go up on there, youtube.com slash teamxl5. Obviously, the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash x5live, and the website, www.team-xl5.org. But like I said, we'll announce all the winners of all the competitions on the CG forums. Remember, the uh, video competition is now started officially so first place is going to walk away with a uh, cool master prize pack which is awesome um, it's going to include a mouse pad mouse keyboard and a few other little goodies from what i hear not 100 percent sure yet but that's that's at least what you get so that's really cool and second place is going to grab themselves 50 bucks um, basically what we're asking is you chuck together a highlight video of the um of the event um the winner and the runner-up will have their videos featured on the um, X5 YouTube channel as well, which is cool. It'll be on the front page there, so the feature video um, <clears throat> for first place. And um, there's just a few rules there. Video must feature the X5 Live logo. Got to include the um, Cooler Master in the video and CM Storm logos. It's got to go for at least four minutes, and um, and you've got to just have a bit of the shoutcast in there. Um, obviously, you can use footage from from the actual broadcast. Um, what we're going to do on the forums? Jump on the CG forums. Uh, into that community carnage thread and that's what we're going to do is get everybody to upload all their point of views a lot of runner people are running nvidia shadow play tonight which is fantastic i know i'm a big supporter of that software because it's bloody brilliant uh, a lot of people were running that throughout the night so they'll be able to upload their point of view footage and hopefully we can just get the community to collaborate a little bit everyone upload their footage and everyone can just download it and and create a, a video with it so get involved this is going to be a great thing we've seen some great community carnage videos in the past and hopefully we can get another really really good one um, out of a few guys tonight, but um, look, that's it. That's it from X5 Live tonight. I'm sure Dr. Steve is absolutely rung out. He's been calling his brains out. Big thank you to Unreal and Crazy for stepping in at the dying hour where a few of our, few of our other fellow casters jumped out at the, well, a few days ago and we weren't able to find a placement. So big thanks for you guys for stepping up and, um, and chucking in a guest cast for us. Um, but like I said, make sure you follow us. Big thank you to our sponsors and, and look out for future events. But um, my name's Deluxe and... Um, Till next time, bye for now. User disconnected from your